name is Rusty, and I like pudding. And if we're lagging, then you should tag us. Rusty, <laughs> is your mouth on fire? <laughs> I also became a dragon this week. Dracarys. <laughs> Yo, let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> I'm disappointed. All the disappointment. And... Are we lagging? Anybody it say works. It? No, everybody says it works. It works. It works. Está trabajando, sir. Go. Telemundo de Twitch. <laughs> That's gonna be turned into a meme. Good. That's why you're a meme. Camera. I am a meme. My whole life is a meme. <laughs> and a mess. All right, All right guys. Welcome back to Five Gallon Gaming. I'm <laughs> broke it. Sorry for your children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. So oh, for this man. for this We're late edition of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the wild calling. It uh, looks like we might not be taking a break right now because it's taken an hour to do this. So, we will get ahead and get right into the game. Uh, should we go through our normal messages? We're lagging again. Are we? Are we really? Don't say that. No, we're not. Dude, you're, you're, you're shut down Twitch, man. I was just making sure. Okay. I was just making sure pretty good. Oh, wait, why, um, why the freak am I looking at an older one? What, are you on your Plenty of Fish profile? No. <laughs> Shut up, man. Derp. Anyway, when um, you when you open it, it's it's pulling down everything. So yeah. then it's gonna make everything lag. So it's kind of useless at that point. We're Guys, good. we would like to apologize for the inconvenience, yes. but we redid the entire studio and you know added a bunch of new lights and backdrops and stuff like that. And too we, much power. We thought we tested everything out and it was all working good the other night. And then we sat down and started the stream, and all of a sudden things went to shit. So uh, thank you for being patient while we worked through it. This is five D one game. Yep. Wow. Highest well, quality. Kevin. <laughs> he did so good just then. Hey, well, that's why he's the lawyer. His little ASMR for you. Thank yeah. you guys for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate so, your patience. I feel like I need to uh, with you. Just real quick, if you want to subscribe to us, we do have the subscribe option right above us. <laughs> we don't suck. We're like, this isn't every week. Mm -hmm. Come back. Yeah. Come back. This is a total mis mishap, so don't worry about it. Uh, if you want to follow us, click on the follow, please. Uh, if you have any... If you are, uh, if you look up Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and also in YouTube, just search up 5D1 Gaming. You can get and follow us and uh, go through that whole process also. Uh, but we will get back into the game right now. If anybody has anything else they want to say, uh, we, do, we do again apologize for it. As uh, Kevin has said, uh, it was uh, something we did not see happening. Uh, we did redo everything, and a few little settings were missed, and it definitely screwed everything up. But we are good now. Yes. So, uh, as we left off, guys, you uh, we had a nice little shopping episode. You guys went around, met everybody. Spent money. It's Redcaster. Yeah. Yep. Pissed off a few people that you were trying to buy things off of. Uh, made friends with some. And uh, you were given a nice little side quest. The uh, local shop owner, he needed help with his beehives because he was being overrun by giant wasps. Being overrun by uh, giant wasps. <laughs> I can't wait for this quest to be done so that these puns can die. Yeah, there's a lot and of bee puns. Honey. Be patient, Kevin. I'm going to throw one, one more in there for good measure. <laughs> 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 Just uno mas yeah. for good measure. Oh, my foot is stuck. So, as we yeah, like are going to continue, stuff, so. <laughs> continue this. Oh, just you wait. I'm already working on episode four for uh, translating it into Spanish. Oh, I thought you were going to say Star Wars. Thank God. <laughs> episode four. That's the best one. Um, all right. So, as we continue this, guys, uh, you did take the job. Yeah. <clears throat> with. Uh, for return, you were going to get some gold, and also a little chat with him about his uh, hidden or his uh, special seeds that he has mm. set aside. Mm. Wink. So, you traveled out to Seven, Seven. the uh, location that he told you about, where his beehives are located, and 
with seeing everything with a natural 20 on perception or investigation. I think it was investigation. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was a natural 20. Yeah, it was a natural 20. Uh, you were able to hear almost every single one of the uh, the wasps as they were... Uh, Surrounding us. Uh, there was a bunch of them. Uh, kind of, you can hear a slight buzz from the, the large tree that was in the center of this area. Uh, you heard two off one to the right, mm -hmm. and then one off on the left. Uh, being peer pressured through the whole entire thing, uh, Rusty, even with his old age, uh, rushed up to the tree and cast Burning Hands. My friends told me it was a good idea. So, we will... <laughs> I trust these are pretty much strangers. <laughs> we will start right there. So, um... Burning hands. <laughs> is it a deck save? Yes. Okay. I shoot to a what? torrent of flames out of my fingertips into a tree. It is a deck save to what? Uh, 15? 15. 15. Okay. I will start rolling. All right. So anyway, guys, how was your week? Uh, yeah. It was fun. And I'm the cat. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. There are uh, roll seven. your damage, please. What is the damage of the spell? I think it's 3d6. I think it's 3d6, yeah. Oh, that's bad. Let's, uh, let's double check. <laughs> In and out of range. That's all you're talking about. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's you. For your... 100 bits. I can't read. Uh, it was 103 thank bits. You, thank, you, <laughs> thank you, Captain Sugar Tits. Oh, while we're waiting for There's that. There's no tits there. It's just sugar. Oh, thank it's you, Captain Sugar. 3D6. For your 103 bits, I want to thank Gramps with a Z for the follow. Uh, Poke Racks Eight. for the follow. Eight, damage. Eight points of damage. No okay. Trials. Some low ass rolls. Yeah, and everyone, uh, it, it, while this is happening, uh, in the chat, if you like the new background or like, do you have any. Uh, constructive criticisms or compliments or anything, uh, please let us know because we love you and we want to be here okay. with you. Non perfection. Thank you for the follow. Earlier. Okay, what's the distance on that? 18 feet. 15, 15 feet. feet. Okay. Actually, I rolled too much. Nope, too late now. All of them eat it. Cross those off. But also, I ignite the tree on fire. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> This farm is gonna be so, so uh, fucking. I don't bad. have I don't have giant wasp minis, so we're gonna use spider minis. My favorite. I know. Uh, also, also, Kevin's favorite. For a split second, I heard you say giant wasp minis. That, that, I'm like, yeah. what? Is that a language that we're supposed to know? Wasp wasp is arachnophobic. But you speak wasp minis. Yeah, <laughs> you right. speak wasp minis. Buzz buzz. Uh, buzz buzz buzz. G F Y S. Buzz buzz buzz. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Buzz buzz buzz. All right. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. So as you oh um, puppers, yep, that's a dog. We got a good boy on the stream. The goodest Chop. boys. Chop. Ooh. Go upstairs, boy. Go upstairs. Go. Just gonna come right over Go. to Anthony and just piss Go. on the floor. Pretty much. That's on camera. We don't yep. talk about pee <laughs> on stream, David. <laughs> oh. All right. So <laughs> as you cast, as you cast, uh, burning hands. Uh, the tree again is a large tree. Wait. It's twenty feet wide. It's trunk. Uh, as it as it leads up. You cast Burning Hands on the tree itself. Uh, the tree is on fire, uh, but you do catch the two lower, uh, the two bees on the lower end, on the, uh, and you do see that as you cast it, it starts to go up onto the uh, the leaves of the bottom of the tree, and it starts to uh, flow up with the uh, with the flames. You can see two bees uh, catch this, and it scorches their bodies. Uh, pretty well too. Uh, they did the two. The first two did fail on their deck saves. So how many bees did it hit? Did it burn? Uh, two. And then now or the tree is on bees? fire. Wow. <laughs> 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 that's a that's that a wow. good one. Yeah. Wow. It was killing me. Not They're to not say bees. I want you. I want you to roll. Exactly. A, <laughs> I want you to roll a Constitution save. Yeah. Or, Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as you cast it, these two right here, they're in. Uh, they're actually engulfed in flames right now. Uh, the, the outside of their bodies and everything. But as you do that, the other bees scatter right out, right out the top. 
Uh, let me use all these. So now they're fine. I look how high those weeds are. Are they in the dilly weed farm? <laughs> You're so funny today. Yeah, I hate myself. <laughs> Let's play the game. Let's get here. And if you notice the camera position now, Kevin is no longer staring longingly into the camera every time he talks. Now he's staring uh, slightly to the left of the camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're I good. feel violated you're at that point. Yeah, buddy. Do that. Look at those beans. All right. So, uh, as you do that, here, I'll just somebody needs to Leave take me a little bit. All right. Uh, the one over there, the one that was all over to the left, the single one, it scatters out. Uh, the uh, four that were in the top of the tree, they scatter out, uh, and the, the two on the right hand side, they scatter out. Now the they're actually bees? out in the open. Sorry. Sorry, there's circles. These are large. One, two, three. These are large beads. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. Jesus you Christ. mean wasps? Uh, wasps. I'm sorry. They're large wasps. Uh, they're they're wasps. like they they literally are the size of Kazos. Like they are they are five feet in length. Oh from, shit! From head to toe, <laughs> or from head to stinger. So, uh, I need everybody to roll initiative. Okay. Couldn't have been worse than mine. Oh, yeah. My rolls aren't actually my rolls. My rolls are what I want my rolls to be. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you have that ability. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Sort of. In yes. certain situations. He has a thing. In every situation, but I mean, it depends. Okay. Uh, so, I, so I get this. Uh, Hemo, what do you have? Um, I have an 18. My email is an 18. Okay. Brutus. 21. 21. Ooh, nice high rolls. It's not going to last long for me. Okay. Casos. Eight. Eight. Casos. Ocho. Eight. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> what, what I have to okay. say? Okay. The Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> on ESPN, the Ocho. So we have Rusty. Ah, oh, sweet merciful baby Jesus, Jesus on a hammock. I never heard that one. Alice, the season. That's why. Tis the season. If you look closely, Kevin's being uh, covered by ticks now from the uh, background. It's a thing. Ah! <laughs> That's cool. okay. All right. Um. First up, Brutus. Yo. You are. And don't forget, people, we have... You are 40 feet away from Rusty right now. I walked a football field away from my friends? You snuck up to the tree. Yeah. There was no you were, distances you were, discussed. You were told it was the in the center. <laughs> I feel underhanded. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't listen to Hemo. <laughs> what? Hemo's the only one he should listen to. <laughs> Hemo's the one who told him to do it. Yeah, because I don't know what you're doing. You are. You are. Uh, I feel like decisions were made for me. I take <laughs> out my, we'll go with hand axe. Uh huh. And I go up my full 30 feet. Okay. Uh, I will enter rage, mm -hmm. and I will throw. Now there's two. There's two on the bottom that you they, that you can see that are close enough. Right. The other the other ones. These are a good like about oh, 40 feet near. So I have a question. So he came up to the tree, right? We could not see them. We just heard them. He blasted up into the tree and two came down? No, two are still... They're on the bottom. They're being burned right now. Okay. But, like, did Rusty see them when he walked up and that's why he shot up towards them, or...? Well, you guys relayed that you could hear everything. Yeah. So then you guys convinced him at the end of the last episode. Yeah. You guys convinced him to go up... I remember that. ...and burn the tree down. Yeah. But I think like, did we saw... He, did he see those wasps when, like, he showed up, or...? No, no one saw the watch. No, they were all hidden. You told me to. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah. So I just did. It. And then as I lit the tree on fire, like two a, descended. A, a bunch of them popped no, out the two, top of the tree. Two are at the top. Okay. They're, they're right at the level where, like, 15 feet above them, they're they are on fire right now. Okay. The other ones that were above it, they scattered out. And them scattering out, the uh, the ones on the side scattered in. 
Got it. Never listen to Hemo again. <laughs> so, uh, so you hand axe. Hand so axe. you see the two at the bottom, uh, at the bottom of like, uh, wait where the leaves are. Like they're on fire. Okay. It's not. It's not on the ground. <laughs> Just wanted to make, stipulate that. <laughs> I'm throwing my hand axe at the okay. one to the right. Uh, to you would be the left. Okay, to the left. That would be the closest one. Okay. Uh, what's the distance on the hand axe? Uh, it's 20, 60, right? Yes, sir. All right, that would be at. That would be at disadvantage. You can go reckless and do a straight roll if you want to. We'll go reckless. All right, roll it. Uh, eight plus six is thirteen. Four, fourteen. Fifteen. It hits. Cool. Fourteen. It hits. So to roll that damage. Four plus four is eight. Plus two is uh, ten. All right. So, uh, as you as you pull out the hand axe, you rush up and you launch it up above your head. You can see the axe, and you're looking at it. You're like, ah, and it starts to go off wide to the right, and for some, some, some way, somehow, it comes right in. It's a good, it's a good like, Bennett like Beckham kind of, kind of throw. Hey. Uh, it lops the body right in half as it, the two body parts fall to the ground. Nice. Doesn't, doesn't Beckham play soccer? That's no. how he bends it. Yeah. That's how he bends it. So. Uh, I'm doing the bare necessities. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, you you raged with your bonus section, so you're so you're good. Correct. All right. So uh, next up, it's going to be the second group of wasps, which I uh, put in for the outside. So these are these are actually uh, these are uh, 50 feet in the air. Okay. So they're gonna they're gonna come down and then double up their distance. Swarm around Rusty. Uh, they use they use their uh, their movement and their action yep. to go down there, so they won't attack at this point. But they are uh, they are like ten feet above you right now. You have the one directly like between you and the tree. You have the other one to your right, but it's ten feet above you on both sides. How long are those stingers? Uh, pretty long. How long is pretty long? Uh, we'd be about right now sticking out, probably a good like two and a half three feet. Is the stingers? Jesus Christ. No, no. I'm sorry. That's the back. That's the bottom. The stingers are like maybe like eight inches to a foot long. It's <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. That'll go like, right through. They're, they're like the stingers yeah, yeah. are like this. Yeah. So, um, from there, Hemo, you're up. Um, I move my full movement speed up towards them, uh, thirty feet. So I'm I'm right by Brutus, and uh. I hurl an axe at the other flaming one with my axe of hurling. All right, so right now you have uh, the one on the one on fire is right here. Yeah, it's up in the tree. Yep. You have one that's ten feet in front of you. That's uh, to the right of Rusty, and then you, there's another one in front of him. So I uh, try to hit the one right next to Rusty. Then absolutely. All right. the so one's that one's the one closest. It's ten yep. feet from you. So yep. got to make an attack. Yep. Uh, with a. I get a minus one for that extra strength, so a 17 to hit. It hits. Ooh. Roll your damage. That was good. Uh, with 11 damage. 11 damage. Okay. I don't get plus anything, yes, that was just 11. Just a straight roll. Okay. Uh, as you throw the axe, uh, it's only 10 feet in front of you, so y there's, no, there's no real aiming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, it launches and it actually uh, sinks right in, and it's most of the axe goes right into the body, mm -hmm. and it somehow magically it like yanks itself out and does even more damage as it as it pulls out. And there's there's a stretch of this sticky green fluid as it comes back. Yes. Uh, it comes right back to your hand. You did a lot of damage, and at this point it falls uh, from the damage. It falls down onto the ground. Uh, it's still it's still alive, but it's it's right severely there. hurt. <laughs> you cleared out his sinuses. Uh, from there, Rusty, you're up. So right now you have... All right, yeah, I, I understand. So the one that's floating above me, mm -hmm. if it's 10 feet, is it going to provoke an attack of opportunity if I try to flee? 
No. Okay. I'm going to run 30 feet back towards Hemo and Brutus. Uh, let's see. Uh, the one on the ground could still attack you. But it would be at disadvantage because it's kind of like... It's prone. prone. All right. I'll take that risk. I will, like, do, like, a, a little hop. <laughs> uh, roll a d20. Five. Five? And your strength <laughs> is... Zero? Zero? All right. Zero. So... Zero. Uh, as you as you go to back up, it, it goes to sting you. Roll a natural one. So it's kind of seeing if you would attack it with your uh, your walking stick. Uh, <laughs> Pop you on the head. <laughs> like step on it accidentally. Um, <laughs> so as, it, uh, as you're backing up, it goes to flip around and sting you. But because of the hole that's in its body... Uh, it goes to rear up, and it uh, it feels the pain, and it falls down, even like completely on the ground, where it is completely prone instead of on its legs. I'm um, wily. <laughs> so you want to back up? Yeah. All right. You can you can jump over the beehive here. It's these beehives are only like four feet high, so it'd just be a simple dex check. Parkour. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you can go directly back, and depending on your dex check, it might not even cost you the double movement. I should be over. within 10 feet of them now, right? You said I was like 40 feet ahead of them. You're, yeah. you're, you're 10 feet next to me and him, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're 10 feet in between both Brutus and uh, Hemo. So if you want to back completely up, you can. I just need a dex check from you. Did you move me like all the way 30 feet? Mm hmm. All right. Oh, it depends on your dex check. Oh, Roll right. a d20 Damn, and add your dex. Do I want to do that, though? You can. All right. I <laughs> foresaw myself having to jump over this bee <laughs> <Again>. with an 11. <laughs> I had a nightmare about this thing. So you got an 11? Uh, no. So plus dex, right? Yeah. Or is it acrobatics? Like, what is it? Uh, actually, do acrobatics. Acrobatics is probably easier. Yeah, it's uh, 14. 14? Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't that hard. It's, it's four feet high, so... Uh, as you rush up, you're going full full 30 feet? Yeah, 30 feet. All right, full 30 feet back. <clears throat> uh, you doing anything else I'm with like your action? I'm, like, past them now? Yeah. I wanted to get, like, in between them. In like, between them? Yeah, you like can go behind. Their, like, that's 15 space. feet. Yeah. Oh, all right. You can I, go behind the beehive that's 15 feet. Okay. I want to be, like, within arm's reach of them. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll fling a Perfect. fireball at. Um, well, well, all right. So the ones that came out of the top of the tree, how far up are they? Like how far away? Uh, right now they're fifty yeah, feet going. plus. Like uh, they're like a good. This is. They're like sixty. No, they're fifty feet near. They're right. fifty feet. I'll fireball at the closest one. The closest one. Yeah. You still have the one that's on that's on fire in the tree. No, let them burn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I have done that again? <laughs> no, let him burn. All right. So it'll be wow. this one right here. <laughs> it'll be this one right here. Ooh. Nat twenty. <laughs> Natural twenty. Okay. Dude, that dinked on the on the on the on the borders real quick. All right. Uh, roll the damage. I see what you did there. Double the double the dice. Just know, roll just one like, dice. I'm double looking dice. for a D10. What did I do? What did you say? I did dink on the borders oh. there. Uh -huh. My favorite Mexican restaurant. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Well, uh, do you want to roll two dice or do you want to roll two, one? I rolled two d10s. I just roll one and double that number. I rolled five on both of them. So which one do you want? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to help. Yeah. All right. So uh, ten points of damage. Uh, as you uh, move your hand, and there's a fire. Uh, there's a little bit of a uh, little tiny fireball that goes right above it. It comes down a good ten feet, and slams into the back, like it, rip it out of the flaming tree <laughs> and immediately direct it. Uh, it it hits it hit, hits its back right where its uh, wings are, and as uh, it slams into it, you can see the wings just go up in flames, and it falls the full fifty feet, and it takes dead. Okay, it is dead. <laughs> and it takes as, death. <laughs> as uh, you light its wings on fire, uh, they go up in a quick burst of flames. And it falls. It hits the side of the tree. And as it hits the side of the tree, its body clumps up uh, almost in half as it slams down. And you can see that the body kind of like is like hanging 
off of itself. I raise my stick and I'm like, I am the wasp killer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Casos, you're up. Uh, uh, I'm like so off the screen. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Get closer to that boy. Move the microphone closer to you and you should be good. No, like off the camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was saying, you're, you're leaning for the no, I was microphone. talking to you. Oh. Like pointing to you. We'll where am I? We'll fix it later. Donda is toy. Uh, you are... Well, from the closest one. No, like where am I on the map? Oh, you're you're at the you're at the beginning. Like, you three were you three were right at the entrance back here. That's my character. Yeah. Oh no, that's not you. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Got the wrong colors. Uh, then I move up to right behind Rusty. Right behind uh, Rusty. Uh, well, to the left of Rusty. How much more movement? Okay. Do you have? No more. No more. All right, cool. What is it within range? Within twenty feet? Uh, would be the one that uh, the one that Hemo attacked. That's on the ground. Uh huh. And within twenty feet? Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I'm gonna attack it with the Manicor spike. Okay, a Manicor spike. All right, roll on attack. That's uh, D20 plus my six, right? Uh, yeah, plus a Dex, whatever your Dex is. So it's Dex plus proficiency. So that is a 17. 17, that hits. Roll damage. That's a 1d6, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 1d6. Yeah, because the, the dart is a d4, that's just 1d6. Three. Three, Three plus your dex. No, oh, so then that's a nine. No, six. Your dex is a three? Did I look at the wrong one? Nope, oh, sorry. That's a seven. Seven, okay. I went down to one point two four. <laughs> so, uh, as you uh, as you pull out the the Manticore spike uh, from your hip, and you do a quick little throw in a fling, you can see as it sinks itself uh, right into basically right in, in between the eyes, uh, the Manticore spike shatters, and there's more pieces that go right into it, uh, and then from there you see that the wasp slumps dead. All right. Uh, is there anything within? You said that that uh, snake sword is, has a fifteen foot range, right, or a ten foot range? Ten foot range. Never mind. Okay. Uh, anything that with is... your bonus? Uh... You can try to throw a manticore spike if you want to at the uh, at the one that's ten feet in the air, and that's that's thirty feet away from you. So that's at disadvantage because yeah. like, it's twenty sixty. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. If All anything right. I lose. Roll a disadvantage. Uh, 12. 12. 12 actually hits. Oh, shit. Roll your damage. This may not be your day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a 5. Buzz, buzz, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> as you kind of peer up and you fling the other manticore spike uh, you can see right as it's aiming it's just almost true it hits uh, it's the back of it, um, its thorax and as the manticore spike goes in it does the same thing where it shatters with the force more of the uh, tiny shards go right into it uh, with that damage uh, let me see Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not enough. So, uh, from there, uh, the second group of wasps, uh, they're going to come down. And hard. Here. Here. Oh, sorry. There. You spent some more money. Now, right now, uh, you guys see right in front of the wasp that you just threw a manticore spike at, and the wasp that's up in the tree, uh, which I might... Okay. <clears throat> the wasp that's in the tree, uh, the three that were up in the air come straight down. It's a, they, they can move very quick. They have a movement speed of 50 feet. And as they, uh, they come straight down, 
Uh, they also are just floating a good like 10, 15 feet in front of you, blocking the two that were uh, near the tree. And from, uh, from there you see the one that's on fire as it tries to fly off, its wings uh, also almost in, uh, mostly in flames as it starts to fly off. The wings uh, are totally engulfed in the flames and it falls down dead. Uh, oh, pork chop. Chop, 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 what are you doing? Chop. Oh, Phoenix, okay, don't wait. Upstairs, Wait, go. Did I make it better? <laughs> I think it did. <laughs> I think it did. The dog just makes the game. <laughs> like, I saw Chop coming down, and that was just like... <laughs> he ran <laughs> to me. me. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, and from there, they're, they're floating a good, like, 10 feet, 10, 15 feet above you guys. Um, yeah, it actually did make it better. Uh, uh, what's their intelligence? Left, nope. They're going to go all the way down. Like ground level? Yep, ground level. Go. Cool. They have an intelligence uh, of uh, one. So, this one? Yeah. they're Which going way? to oh, swarm. Beautiful. Okay. Hold I the like bike. it. All right, I think that's fixed. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, they're going to come down and they're going to swarm you guys. Uh, two of them is are on you, Hemo. One of them is on you, Burtis. And from there, you still see the one that's in front of the tree and the one that's off into the distance over there. Uh, that one over to the left is about 30 feet in the air as it, as it came flying down towards you guys. Sure. Um, but they move double movement. So, uh, Brutus, you're up. You have one in front of you. A roll for envenomation. Uh, take out my war ha my plus one warhammer because I threw my hand axe. Sounds like an awesome pen name. Um, Venomation. And I hit it with two hands. What's the thing? One, okay. Two hand yeah. Roll an attack. <laughs> Memes. They're funny. Glug, glug, glug. Well, sometimes they're funny. 25. 25. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 1d10 plus... Strength. Yeah. Four is... Five. Uh, plus one for... The plus one. Six. Oh, plus two <laughs> is... Eight. Yeah, that. All right, eight points of damage. We're yeah. getting an abacus from the table. <laughs> 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 Eight. One more. Yeah. Eight. It's like that. So. Uh, as you pull out the uh, the warhammer, you can see it glistening because I mean it is a very shiny, beautiful warhammer. Uh, as you uh, swing down, uh, you slam it right down on the back of its body, <clears throat> and from there you can see it kind of looks like it's kind of all uh, they all buckle. But they uh, rear up, and you can hear that there is a loud buzz coming from this uh, this wasp that's in front of you. Next up is Hello. the other wasps. Oh, it's the other wasps? So there is more wasps. More wasps. Though. All right. This one's going to come down full speed. This one's going to come down full speed. Estamos rodeados. And We're surrounded. The first one's gonna make an attack on you, Brutus. Mm -hmm. Brutus, look out! Uh, quick question. Yeah. No time for questions. Do I have to have the shield like taken out and equipped yes. to have the armor class bump? Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, the shields sure. work. <laughs> not all the time. You have to. Not if you're a turtle. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, not if you're a turtle. You're welcome. All right. I, I'm actually gonna use my reroll on this one. Do it. Who was that from Darkwing? Yeah. Thanks, no, Darkwing. no, no. It was, it was from uh, Stomy. Stomy. He's Thanks, the one who gave yeah. me all mine. Stomy. <coughs> it was oh, worse. So, At least they're getting used on Brutus. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was worse. So. Uh, you're welcome. From there, the uh, the wasp <laughs> is going to try to is going to try to sting you, but you just slamming down the warhammer on the wasp in front of you, hearing the buzz, you kind of are looking around because at your you're just trying to get your bearing from uh, from this sound, and you see this wasp fly over to your left, 
and you sidestep it as it tries to sting you. Uh, from there, uh, the next one, uh, you two, uh, both Rusty and Casos. Uh, who wants to be the, who wants to be eleven and above? Dibs. All right. Wanna, I'll take I the want, bottom. I want to be buff, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's an 18, so it's attacking you, Casos. So. I use, I use Casos as a meat shield. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Not> that. <laughs> uh, that is a 20 to hit. That, can I lie? <laughs> you can lie, you want. You can lie, right. but I need you to, through the half the time. I need you to roll a constitution save. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, you're getting envenomized. Envenomized. Seven. Uh, save, sorry. Oh. Uh, Give you a break. That is ten. Ten. Yeah. Costas has an anaphylactic okay. reaction. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shit! Where's my epi? There's nothing wrong with you guys. Costas the picnic. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Right. Okay. Guys, you take four points of piercing damage. And you also take... Oh, God. That sounds like a lot. Oh, that really does sound a lot. Look at those jingles. They're all deforced, don't worry. It's... Uh, you also people? take nine points of poison damage. You take 1d4 points of damage if you step over. So you what? take. You 13, took nine points 13, of venom damage, poison nine, damage, 13 damage. If we were paying attention, we would know. Nine, nine, I was paying attention, Doug. <laughs> Thank you. Give me the good best of your. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Doug? Clearly his name is Dungeon Master. Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Dungeon Master. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as. Uh, it flies down in between you and Rusty, and it, it's looking at oh. both of you. It stares you right down, and it, uh, it uh, flies up and sinks uh, its stinger right in you. Oh. You can you can feel <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the piercing of the stinger right into your chest, and you're like, oh, that wasn't enough. And then then you feel the uh, the poison pulse right through your body. Uh, it's you you can literally feel the burning as it's coursing through your veins. Oh, that doesn't look good. Good thing it didn't hit me. <laughs> uh, well, Hemo, you <laughs> Hemo, you're up. Yeah, um, so I have two directly in front of me, and then one, there's still the one next to him? Uh, no, no, no. There's uh, there's two directly in front of you, yep. and over to your left, right uh, right above uh, the beehive, is the one that just attacked Kossos, and then next to that is the uh, one that attacked. So yeah, I'm angled. I see Hemo. Yeah, yeah you Welcome see two. Back, you have two in front of you. So if I turn slightly to the right, can there be three directly and within a 15 foot cube in front of me? Um, cube. Cube. Uh, in front of you. There's a 50 foot cube directly in front of me. No, you, you would. If you do that, you you would either miss one of them or get your friends. Okay, so I just uh, you can get the two in front of you. I, I thunder, I cast thunder wave. I do my whole little clappy thing. Thunder wave. Thing. Okay. What, what saves are me. they? Uh, that is a Constitution saving. Throw. Constitution save. Yeah. All right. Against what? Uh, that would be against a fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. And I also want chocolate. All right. Roll your damage. But not this cool. chocolate. Oh. And if they fail, they get pushed back ten feet, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, they get pushed back. Yep. Uh, that would be 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. Yep. There you go. Okay. So, uh, as you, uh, rear back and you cast Thunder Wave, uh, the one that's directly in front of you, you can see from the, uh, from the concussion of the thunder, it shatters it in pieces. Oh, okay, like... It just, it just like, it bursts like, uh, like... Like a bee under on her microscope. <laughs> Bug parts <laughs> everywhere. Um, nice. And you can see the parts they just, it, just scatter all over the place. Uh, the one to your left, uh, as as you do it, it sees what you're doing, uh, and thinking that you're swinging at it, it tries to dodge it. Takes half the damage. That take up its wings. <laughs> <laughs> but it hits it hits most of its body as it's pushed back a tiny bit, but it still stays right where it's at. Okay. Um, anything else with your bonus action or anything like that? Um, nope. No? All right. Rusty, you're up. All right. So right now you have, to your left, is the bee that just attacked, uh, Kossos. 
and then to your right is the bee that just got thunder waved from uh, from Hemo. Is the one that just got that attacked Costas within five feet of me? Yes. Uh, I'm going to cast, um, is it on fire? No, not that. I'm going to cast Prismatic Orb and throw it at the one that had just attacked Kassos okay. and have it deal ice damage. Ice damage? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Roll attack. Not 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so you want me to roll 3d8 and double it? Yeah, 3d8 and double the dice. So, <laughs> you can kill that thing and it's whole I, lineage. <laughs> I, I, I vanished into the shadow realm. Yeah. <laughs> I think that you eat. I actually, I actually prefer everybody just to double the dice so that you don't have to roll so much. It's, I, I prefer what you prefer. <laughs> well, he's in charge of our world. So. Yeah. <laughs> don't smush me, all, Papa. <laughs> that would have been a good roll, too. Oh, and got yeah. so much worse. Got so much uh, worse. Eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So... Uh, right in front of you, you cast, you start to move your hands in sort of like a, a, a ball shape, like like you're looking over um, a magical ball. Uh, but right above it, you you all see this ice ball starts to form. It's pulling all the moisture from the air up into this little ball. And Is then it drinking? comes right down. Hmm? And then I fling it up and hit it with my stick. <laughs> 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 Smashes right into the bee right there, and you guys can see as it hits it, it starts to do, uh, it starts to freeze it as it's reaching across its body, sort of like a wave that's just enveloping its body, and it is fully iced, uh, a full iced wasp sitting right there on top of the beehive. I preserved it for later, and then I'll run around behind Hemo. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Is it dead or Casa's <laughs> It's frozen uh, solid. Uh, Casa's uh, actually the poison out of you, by the way. The, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right, what, so um, who's, who's around to, you? to your left, you have Brutus. Uh -huh. And to Brutus's left and his front, there are two wasps. Within range of how many feet? Ten feet right now. Ten but feet you right can now. move over five feet and then get the one to the left. Now. That's a cool question. When I did my thunder wave thing, how far away from the tree am I? Uh, you are going to be set on fire? <laughs> You're tall. you're 15 feet from it. So did like the the concussion waves off of that put any of the tree out or? Uh, how high is it? It's a 50 foot cube. So it's 15 feet in the air. Yep. Right now it's it. This is it, the fire has moved up the tree. Okay. So any fire that was on the uh, that was on the bark of the tree, if that was there, it's out. But above the tree, this tree is just engulfed in flames okay. at this point. So, yeah, if I move left, you said? Yeah, if you move left, you have a bee to your left. You know, I'm a wasp. You have a wasp to your left. I would have two or one. One. Within range of attack. Uh, yeah. You would have one. It's five feet from me. One within range. Exactly. Would, would one. that one be uh, five feet or closer to me? <laughs> hmm? The, the one oh, that it would be an advantage. Uh, I'm right. taking it over my advantage. yellow jacket. <laughs> Uh -huh. Your yeah. attack would be at advantage. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to use my new little toy, my snake sword. All right. Yeah, and extend it. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's Zombie Maru. Yeah, it's Zombie Maru. <laughs> Children. See how well I dance with this new the toy. The bleach. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a 1D, uh, no, it's a uh, 20 oh. plus 6, right? Yeah. You okay? He's laughing at his own joke. Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> that is 17. 17, that hits. All right, cool. Oh, so that's that 2d6 sneak, sneak attack in that. Uh, oh, no, that's a 1d8. Mm -hmm. It does a d8 of damage. Plus d6 for uh, sneak. Mm -hmm. 10 total. 10 total. Okay. As you uh, sneak up behind Brutus, <laughs> you flip out the snake sword. And it, as you uh, swing it above your head and you come down and you give it this nice little slash of a whip, uh, it goes right into this bee, and I mean this wasp, and you can see it gives a good gash 
um, on its thorax, like a really deep gash. Uh, it shakes from the hit because it did not see it happening. Uh, but now it looks directly at you. How far is it from me? Five feet. All right, I'm going to take my bonus action and attack with my uh, short sword. You cannot. But why? Because you attacked with a... You did not attack on your normal action with a light weapon. Fuck the rules. <laughs> What's so, a light weapon? I thought that was considered a light weapon. No, it is not. It's considered a finesse weapon. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. From there, it is the second group of wasps. Uh, those. The one is going to attack you, Hemo. Sure. Pray to let me make it your pet. As, uh, as it goes to uh, hit you with the stinger, you can see it happening because you're, you're used to the wildlife, and you're and you're noticing the pattern of uh, when it's when these all are attacking at once. Uh, as it goes to sting you, you kind of sideswipe it. <clears throat> um, do you still have your uh, your um, your staff out, your snake staff? Uh, or... The only thing I have in my hand right now is the oh, axe. Oh, you have the hand axe? Okay. So seeing it, you kind of like use the hand axe and with the blunt end, just you kind of side, side swipe the bottom of it. Um, the next one is going to attack you, Brutus. That will be a 23. That hits. Okay. Need you to roll a constitution save for me. 21. All right. Because you're raging, you take five points of piercing damage, half to two. Ooh. And because you made your save, uh, you take 11 points of poison damage, and that's half to five. Oh, okay. So seven total? Yes. He just grabs the stinger and starts drinking from it. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, so, you're on a 21, uh, you're like, well, that'll do it. The same thing happening to Casos, you kind of saw out the corner of your eye. The stinger, it slams right into your chest. And from there, I, because you're more of a, a beefy uh, animal, Ooh. you can, you you kind of like do the little like chest flex. I'm scared. And it flies out. the, uh, the stinger does seep into you, but it's just barely into your chest. And then as it, it sinks its poison into you, your natural barbarian rage, uh, you can fend off that poison as you can feel a little bit of the poison go through your body. Uh, from there, Brutus, you're up. You have a, you have the one that stung you uh, in front of you, and you have the one to the left of you. That is the one that uh, Kassos slashed at. Okay, so I still have my Warhammer out. Can I take out the shield and still attack? Go upstairs. Go. Huh? Can I take out the shield with the Warhammer and still attack? Uh, yeah, you would. it would be with uh, one hand, though. That's fine. Okay. I do that, and I use my uh, attack, my main attack with the shield. Well, that's a bonus action. You can use the bonus action with the shield. Oh, uh, well, wait. <laughs> So, if, if, if my shield counts as a light property, I can't attack with it as a, I gotta start all over here. As the bonus action, unless... No, you, you can, because that's part of what it is. Oh, okay. I attack with my... That is, it's a special shield. That was... Okay. It's a magic shield. Okay. So, I attack with the... The Warhammer? Warhammer, one-handed. Okay. Eight plus six is what? Fourteen, you said? Fourteen. That Fourteen. Hits. What did I say the Warhammer was? One D eight. It's a D eight. Uh, what's five plus four is nine plus one ten plus two is twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Okay. I'm. I stopped. I stopped listening after nine because that's all you needed. So, as you pull out the shield, uh, you look down and you bring this hammer straight down. You can hear an audible crunch yeah. in the outside of its body. Uh, just cracks. And you can see the uh, the e the blunt end of that hammer leaves a dent right inside the body as you drive it right into the ground. Yeah. No, I'm small. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Wait, he's dead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Super dead. Like, the whole time that I was having, I still just picture what you had said. Like, he um, just pulls the stick out of his chest, just like, <laughs> and then rips it off. <laughs> from, <laughs> from there, uh, the second group of wasps. <laughs> That's so metal. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah no, that, is, that is a barb thing to yeah. do. Okay. Uh, from there, the second group of wasps, uh, Brutus and Casos, who wants to be at 11 and above. Actually, no, it was looking at you, so it's going to attack you. Punch <laughs> you right in the eyes. Fuck you, cat punch. <laughs> uh, that, is a, that is an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. Roll, I need you to roll a constitution save. Uh, 20. A 20. Okay. Um, as, uh, as it goes to... Uh, and it rears up and sinks the stinger almost in the same spot. You're kind of thinking that it, it's hitting the center of your body mass. Uh, you take four points of piercing make it damage. Into the hole. Make it into the hole. <laughs> you take the hole. The hole that was already in there from the first one. Oh. You take four points of piercing damage. Uh -huh. And as you can feel the the same poison, you're used to it this time, where you you kind of like try to like be, like uh, force yourself to not go double vision. Uh, you take. Uh, ten points of poison damage, half to five, because you made the save. Right. <clears throat> Hemo, you're up. Right now, you currently have the severely damaged wasp to your left. Uh. Castle's just getting perforated. Yeah. So it's still like right in front of me, then. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say um. Like what? Two feet no. from me, I guess. It's five feet. It's five feet from me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even a it's right there next to you. It's not even a point in throwing the axe, but I mean, would it take the same damage if I don't throw it? Uh, no, it's actually just normal damage if you if you use it as an attack. As a. Uh, it only takes the. It only does the extra damage if you throw it. Okay. Uh, so it's five feet. Am I like in its? Whatever. Uh, I shoot my ring of fire gun at it now that I have that on. <laughs> okay. So, like I still have like my axe in my hand, and I just like I still like I guess I'll have the axe. Wait, would it have done the, the the extra damage if would you, if you would have thrown past it and let it come back at it? Like boomeranged yeah. around it? I would never I, do that. Well, you're five yeah. feet away from it. We're five feet away, and I can throw something at you and it. What if you would never do that? So I throw it at it behind <laughs> it, like aim it, and I, it wants to come back to my hand, and this thing's in my path. It won't ever hit it. Um, if you were to throw it like that, that would be that would be a throw at disadvantage. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, real quick, I'll do Thank it. You, you're welcome. Uh, dude, yeah, I, I would I say if, if you're if you're going to do it, it would be a throw disadvantage because you're throwing it out to hopefully hit it when it comes back. I saw Captain America do it. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Use your reroll. Okay. Use your reroll. I used it. I think. Oh, damn. You have to make it work. <laughs> as you point. as you're looking, you're <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I can do this. <laughs> Behind me in the back of my hand. Like, <laughs> you're like, I think I can do this. You toss it. I want to be cool to my friends. Like, I'm a guy, look what I can do. As you, uh, as you toss it, it goes flying out, does this wide curve. Like, you threw it, like, you're trying to get it to curve around. Mm -hmm. Wanted. Roll a deck save. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty's now beheaded. Uh, deck save. My proficient. Uh, uh, I am not, so I get an 11. 11. Well, it wasn't going to be that hard, but I just wanted to say. As you uh, <laughs> as you throw it, it arcs around in a corner. And it, for some reason, it, it, it just it keeps going and going. And you're, and you're just like, what the? And as it comes around, you see Rusty, he just like snuck behind you. And you start to see it go right at him as it's coming closer. And it's coming back towards you. And it goes... Whew, Right past Rusty's head. I dunk and it cuts a mushroom off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It does. <laughs> and if that happens, I catch it back around. I'm like, fuck! And I hit, I hit and step and now I'm invisible to the start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh! Can you do that as a bonus action? As a bonus action. Because I think that's an action, right? It is not. <laughs> Go back to where I just was. Here we go. It's freaking somewhere. As a bonus action, you can magically turn invisible to okay. start your next turn. Okay, all right, cool. Bonus action. You're invisible! Whoops! <laughs> oh, no! You are... Heavens! Invisible. All right. 
Uh, you can use your movement at this point. No, nah, I'll stop making shield for Rusty. Okay. <laughs> so, as, as he turns Wait invisible, a team player. <laughs> in front of you, Rusty, you have a clear shot of looking right at this wasp. Because he just disappeared right in front of you. Don't do it. So I like... He, he, we just friendly fire mode on tonight? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> hey, you guys are doing it. You always call your first time with an axe. He doesn't see you. Cast a fireball at me. <laughs> uh, I only have 25 up. HP. It's fine. It won't how, many, how many wasps are left? Uh, It'll only kill you six times. You over. see the, the one that's next to Hemo. Yeah. The one that's frozen on the beehive. Go. And then the one that both Brutus and Cosmos are attacking right now. Okay. Uh, is the... Wasp that's in front of Hemo within five feet of me. Uh, ten feet. I am going to run thirty feet away. Which way? Like away from it, and in yeah, the opposite direction way. of it. Doing the old rusty shuffle. All right. You're that far away. Firebolt. Firebolt is it? Y'all like getting upon you? Like, I just imagine him like hobbling thirty feet away, <laughs> turning around and like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, with a ten to hit. <laughs> ten to hit. As you, as oh, you, no. as you scream, so fireball. Deck save now? <laughs> <laughs> the fireball arcs down and hits the uh, the beehive that the frozen uh, wasp that uh, was sitting on top. And right now, that beehive is starting to engulf it. Burn it all! I'm done. <laughs> we we failed this side mission. <laughs> <laughs> The farmer's just watching from his shed like... Yeah, he's just <laughs> fucked what are his they whole doing? farm. <laughs> They're causing more damage than helping. <laughs> Is that the Benny Hill theme song? Casos, <laughs> <laughs> you're up. <coughs> what? Okay. You have the one, they have the one that, <coughs> that just stung you that's right in front of you. Okay, I'm going to attack it with my short sword. Okay. Roll at advantage. <laughs> Net 20. Natural 20. Roll hey. damage. Finally. Um, the D8 plus the D6. Let's see that nat 20 emote Wait, in the chat. Are you using your short sword? Yeah, short sword. 2D6. That's, yeah, I was about to say that's 2D6. I thought you still had the, uh, no. the whip pen. So that's an 11. 11. All right. 11 points of damage. As you bring down the short sword, you go right into, uh, right into the center of the wasp. You twist your wrist, and it just goes limp right in front of you. Oh, I forgot plus four, so that's 14 total. Well, it's still okay. dead. So. He's still dead. It would be it's 15. But it's but uber dead. We now. have to hit critical Rolled an 11. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are not mathing good today. I no. deal fair. I, I did pretty good. I've done all my math pretty all right. <laughs> doing great. Maybe. All right, so right now, that that is that is not. You have the, the other one. wasp Thank that's a good, like, 15 feet from you. What? Another one? Yeah, you have the wasp that's in front of Hemo right now. That invisible Hemo. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can make an attack on that with your bonus action if you want to rush up and attack. <laughs> like, I think, yeah. When I, when I hit step, there's a little bit here. He's like, the look of like, uh, pure, excuse like, oh. me. <laughs> All right. That's roll, my move. Roll an attack. <laughs> regular roll. That's a 21. 21. It hits. Roll damage. Just a regular D6, right? Yep. You take 4D6. That is a 9. Uh, 9? Yeah, 9. Nine points of damage. As this one was already damaged, severely damaged, uh, you uh, do the same move. You stab your uh, your other short sword right into its back. Give it a good twist as it falls limp. Dead. Uh, from here... <laughs> Rusty just starts letting red trees on fire. <laughs> uh, the, Fuck this tree in particular. There's wasps everywhere. <laughs> the beehive that's in front of you uh, it starts to uh, engulf in flames a little bit more. Uh, but right now, you guys look around, and there are no other wasps anywhere in this area. Besides? Besides the frozen one that okay. is currently sitting on Be top thawed. of a beehive <laughs> that is burning in flames. It's a shrine. It's a uh, I, I want to uh, skin them. What he does this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll survival. That's just, that awesome. <laughs> um, so wait, is that one definitely like dead? Do we know? Or we don't know? Anybody gonna check? I am going to hit it. Yeah, like tap with it. Right. the great axe. Alright, with the great axe? With the no, great I'm, axe. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm running over to like try and put the beehive out. Like that's right. my, my first 
I think it's supposed to be I that. Like we were. Okay. Save the honey. I can snuck one day. We'll save the person that hired from us li like livelihood. Like. She's got a lot. Um. Do you have anything that can snuff out flames? Like uh, I catcher? could like entangle me. I think you do, right? Precipitation can do that, right? Oh, I can draw craft. I can snuff out flame. Oh, you can snuff out flame. Yeah. Okay. I can make puffs of wind. <laughs> yeah, no, I can, I can, I can, oh, I, I can snuff <sighs> out a candle, torch, or small campfire. Light or snuff. All right, I just start snuffing. So the fire. you two, you two yeah, start working just, on we're the We're firefighting. Oh, oh, uh, oh, roll an attack oh, at oh, advantage. <laughs> oh, I lit it more. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> my nipples. My nipples. My nipples are on fire. I'm <laughs> sorry. I know you have sensitive 20. nipples. Oh. Guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> So that's funny. As you uh, as that's you great. swing your great axe, and it's a it's a long arcing swing, you hit it and you cleave it right in half. But as you cleave it in half, it shatters into pieces like it is frozen wasp that is just scattered all over the tree that's in the center. Murtis, um, I was saving that for later. Right now, as he does that, and you guys are stuffing out the flames on the uh, on the small beehive, you see as the uh, the wasp parts shatter all over. And you look up, and the top of this tree is just in flames. <laughs> Rusty can <Kibble. laughs> get on this tree too. Yeah, I mean, as much as I can just snuff fire out, I'm doing it. Yeah. The shit. Okay. Shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. So <laughs> I'm like spitting while through. <laughs> yeah, all through <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Trying to expel as much like with like yeah. Uh, that's only good. five feet, right? For both of you. What's up? It's only a five foot. Druidcraft is thirty feet. It says no, 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 uh, not the distance, but like the the area that it encompasses. I'm pretty sure it's like five feet. It says uh, a fact, campfire. It, so, yeah, five yeah, foot, five foot cube. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm, a, five I'm a cube. cube so, so as you guys are uh, are uh, putting out from the bottom, uh, you start to put out the flames. It takes a lot longer <laughs> than you guys expect, and it is. Uh, burning most of the life away from this tree. I cast mending. <laughs> <laughs> he will take out a so, band aid. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just have a seed in my hand. I just drew and craft a little patch of moss on the side. <laughs> We're good. That's so fine. it's good. We'll yeah, be fine. That's so fine. So as uh, as you we guys can say, it, it takes a good like ten minutes for you guys to put this fire out because you're working from the bottom to the top. Yeah, you should have worked from the top to the bottom and caught the flame ahead of time. Well, we started at the bottom. Now we're here, dude. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Knowing, took the long way off of that one, huh? Both of you guys, knowing the way the fire works, you want to start from the bottom, because flames go up. Mm -hmm. So if you snuff out the top, the flames still go up. Okay, so can we retcon that giant octopus and just throw ink at it for a while? <laughs> 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 so Brutus is just squeezing you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Don't eat me. laughs> So, kill me. Uh, <laughs> I take out my great axe. As, a, oh. as, uh, as you're putting out the fire, you can see that most of the leaves <laughs> on this tree are just in singes. You can see that the bark of the tree is also uh, is uh, almost black from from the flames. As it, um, it's a light touch. It's not like it's a deep burn at this point. Yeah. But it has damaged the tree. At this point, it's just it looks it just looks like a skeletal okay. version. Of so I understand that Druidcraft is a cantrip, but can I burn a second level spell slot and cast it as hard as I possibly can? And try and like fern gully that bitch. Well, all right. So if you were to try to use Druidcraft, and the amount of damage that's on this tree, it would take like an hour to fix it somewhat. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. So uh, as you guys are sitting around, you're you're casting Druidcraft just to fix the tree. Uh, it's not going to have any leaves on it, but you're you're basically just trying to heal the bark so that I will take a leaf. I'm okay. doing that. I'm <laughs> looting the bees for. All right, roll roll I'm, survival. Skin the bees. Skin the bees. <laughs> roll survival. That is, that is that is my. That I'm just standing there, there like watching him start prepping his like tree healing ritual, and I'm just like, well, he didn't say how he we wanted to kill you the bees. Like, yeah. years out. You both went Wi-Fi You didn't specify. That's a seven. He just wanted them. A dead. seven. I'm pretty yeah. sure it wasn't by burning down his farm. You told me to do this. I contemplated using You're that reroll, but I'm like, no, nah, you did something good. <laughs> oh, sweet. Rusty, Rusty, a critical hit. Rusty, Rusty did good? Yeah, Rusty did it all. He did a thing. <laughs> the predator. Sorry. No? No? Oh, no. I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Oh, my goodness. Are you still invisible, by the way? It's hidden stuff, it's just until my time and I started. So, like, literally, as soon as I combat it, I was like, yeah, here I am. Cool. By the time by the time I got to it, he already... You already came to. Yeah. Kostos already killed. He takes, like, six-second camouflage. Yeah. He blends over the surroundings. It's like a dude wearing a camo shirt with a little wawa. Okay, with a seven. I'm sorry. It's nature, not survival. So there was an eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, from here, out of all the stingers, um, with all the damage that was done in succession with with everybody, uh, you're able to get two stingers. Two giant wasp stingers. Any venom sacks? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Nope. So no, British. You skinned them. Seriously, I wanted that wasp for later. I was saving it. I was preserving it. <laughs> How often do you see five foot tall wasps? I wanted one. <laughs> okay. So, from here, uh, you guys like, take the whole the hour where Hemo's druid crafting, fixing the tree. You were you were trying to skin it. Uh, you're not used to the ha to working on giant wasps, so as you're trying to, you fail, you fail, you fail as you're going to each one. Um, there, there's like a good like eight of them that are that aren't fully damaged. Upstairs. And as you're Upstairs. as you're trying to uh, work on them, the first six you fail at. The last two is where you you're able to get the stingers out. Um, are you guys doing anything? You I guys was, could take a short rest at this point. If I you was want doing to. a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, what do you know? <laughs> I'm not repeating it. Any of it. Um, <laughs> Chop. Uh, so wait, he, he, he skinned the go. two? Or all of them? Uh, he damaged every single one of them. He went to so a, if I go to loot them, there's like nothing? No. Nope. You can go look go. for like the shrapnel ones, like the ones that blew up in the yard. Like you can see if you can find a stinger, I guess. Rusty wonder... is incredibly intrigued at Five Foot Wasps, and I marked down this location in my book. Okay. To like I wonder what this honey here. tastes like. Can I open one of them and see what the honey tastes like? I was like? offered some for uh, completing this quest. That's so. going to go in my tea. Yeah, that's, that's how you got convinced and you got convinced a la Stingers. And he just likes uh, making the boom boom smash. <laughs> are you are you gonna try to see if you can find a, a singer left over? I want to. Yeah, look for yeah, Peter. All right, <laughs> roll an investigation. Just pull one out of Cassius's chest. At disadvantage. <laughs> for row. Okay, roll an investigation at disadvantage. He did roll that twenty. One of them. At disadvantage. Though. The other one's a fifteen. Seventeen. All right, seventeen. With a 17, you're able to get one extra stinger out of all of it. You I find it uh, from the frozen one that you shattered across <laughs> the uh, across the tree. You can see you come across the stinger. It is it is perfectly preserved in a block of ice. I give it to Rusty. Okay. No, thank you. I was. Mm, this will do. Okay. I uh, like. Rusty I don't sucks know. the venom out of it. I will live forever! <laughs> <laughs> Starts okay. like into like a frozen Dies poison popsicle. Exactly. It's it does. Venom, whatever this venom and poison are two different things. That's true. Yeah. That is very true. <laughs> um, that was cleared up yeah. very well. I, also I guess I like it. wrap it up and nope. put it in my pack. Okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, it, it's like a block of ice. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to get my spell component soggy. Mm -hmm. That's I. I'll figure it out. I wrap it in a towel. Okay. I'll take it. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I just want to look at it. Get your own. This is so, a gift. I just want to look at it. <laughs> look, you see. Get off my lawn. You know what kids do? You know they're like, oh look, you see it. Old right? <laughs> people do the same thing. They stole my watch when they came in. What? You never been to a retirement home? I have. Not Never sold sunlight. an old person's watch when no. you went in. I'm kidding. A <laughs> pudding cup here and there, but <laughs> so we should take a break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a five minute break, guys. Just five minutes. I all need right? seven. So we don't have the we don't have the time. Take a five minute break. I need at least six point two five seven five. Right, five minutes. Pause the stream. Pause the stream. We're going on a break. Please, we, will, we love you. Please don't guys, leave us. We will be back in five minutes. We're, I know we said we, were, we weren't gonna take a break, but. After all this, everybody wants to take a break. I need to do a lot. So it's unanimous. So we're going to be back in five minutes. It's not the normal ten. So during this time, 
hit the follow button, hit subscribe, rush over to YouTube, subscribe to us if you search out 5D1 Gaming. On top of that, hit the thumbs up on, uh, on our videos if you've watched any of them, please, because that helps us in the algorithm. Uh, leave a comment if you want to, that's fine. Uh, go over to our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, follow us through there if you can. Uh, if you like us, if not, leave us a nasty uh, message, and we will get back to you. Tell us how bad we suck at stream setup. At the yeah. For oh, yeah. Five fucking minutes. Yep. Damn, dude. So. Aggressive? Uh, we yes, will be I'm back. a little sour at that. We will be back in five <laughs> minutes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. We're going on break. <clears throat> we will go on break yeah, right, right now. Right now. Goodbye.
Uno. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> so, uh, we will continue right where we left off. You guys just finished mending the tree, searching for stingers. Oh, fuck. Um, overall, putting out all the fires, everything that you could. Right now, you have uh, cleared up the... Uh, the wasp problem, as there is no more attacking you at this moment. Uh, looking around, you do see three of the beehives, the ones that are uh, more around the tree, have been completely shattered. It looks like the, the wasps has have came, uh, come down onto it and just shattered all the wood and everything that's been inside it. It's like butt bombed them? Yeah, basically. Uh, do I... Well, I'm standing there in the tree, like, looking around and stuff. Do I see, like, a wasp hive? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Do you think this is all he meant? Oh, uh, well, he said to get rid of the wasp. He got rid of the wasps and half of a tree. So, yeah, I think we... We, we could always just tell him that it was a deadly encounter and the force was necessary. No, I'm sure he won't mind considering we saved... Uh, how many beehives were are, like, in total like, on his farm? There are 12 of them. By and my count, at least nine. 37. Yeah, we saved uh, eight and a half of them. So. No, you oh. saved nine. Oh, yeah, eight and a half because of this one right here. Yeah. It's just in flames. Yeah. Well, job well done, gentlemen. Shall we go and... Uh, Roll a perception check, email. That's correct. Uh, that would be a... 18. All right, with an 18, you can... Th- figure out that when you're doing the druidcraft on the tree uh, you're from your from your conversation with Rusty about the uh, um, about the whole uh, back and forth and you thinking about the beehive uh, the wasp hive that you were looking for you remember seeing tiny bits of something on the tree and as you're uh, doing a little recollection of the whole thing you can remember that they look like burnt parts of a of a wasp hive. Cool. Yeah, it appears we got rid of the nest and everything. So I feel like uh, we are safe to go back. Now you got your stingers, right, Colossus? See. Well, uh, we'll get you your honey. No, oh, I can't wait. You made the smishy smashies. Neat. Yeah, let's go back to town. All right, cool. Okay. So head off into town. <laughs> uh, with this whole travel back and forth, it is late at night okay. when you get back into town. You can see that most of the stores have closed up for the day. Okay, so his, his house is at his farm, right? Was he not going to his house? Was he uh, not no, he there? explained that this was this was off into a secret area. Okay. This was a, this was a spot that only he really knew about. And this is where he harvested the honey that was that he was uh, famous for. Oh, okay. What? So it's late at night. So I imagine. Uh, uh, I don't imagine the shops open. So I guess we could head there first thing. Yeah, tomorrow seems fine. I'm down. Okay. So uh, to the long seder. Okay. So you guys head back to the inn. Uh, you can see that there's a lot more people inside the bar from your uh, uh, from previously because you came in super early in the morning. There a lot were people more than just eating breakfast everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> or gnomes. Yeah. Sorry. No, they're halflings. Halflings. Mm-hmm. Uh, All halflings. Yeah. There is a a, a variety of people as you look around the bar uh you can see there's a half orc in the one back of the corner he's playing cards with a dragonborn uh both of them are huge they're like um, they're like seven feet tall and they're the wide frames but then they're holding these tiny tiny cards as they're uh conversating back and forth mm. um on our way back into town i like hoping rusty doesn't notice that i accidentally lopped a mushroom off his hat i like craft one back okay. onto him <laughs> so i was yep. walking back and one of those happens yeah all right, oh. that's fine. <laughs> Out of the way. Um, what happens when a mustard pops in? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> My sciatica! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, looking around, you do see... Uh, elves, elves, humans, uh, you do see half-elves, elves, humans. It's a wide variety of people that are in, that are in this... Um, uh, in, at this bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you uh, notice their clothes, they are not uh, normal farmer 
They're not, uh, they don't look like uh, common folk mm -hmm. that are in here. A lot of them, uh, some of them have elegant clothes. As you peer a little bit closer, they seem uh, a low end of elegant clothes. Like they, they look from afar better than what they are up close. Okay. Uh, but, um, so Rusty's a pearl. <laughs> yes. Don't make fun of my knickers. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> so, uh, but it, it's it's quite busy, as you can hear uh, the drinks being passed out. People um, uh, momentarily screaming as they're excited at, at, at certain stories or uh, certain card games as, as they're winning back and forth. Uh, but what do you guys want to do? Uh, how haggard do we look? Hmm? Oh, yeah. uh, you guys, I mean, you guys went through some pretty rough times this whole day. It's like seeing like all these like semi fancily dressed people and seeing like how we're like all sweaty and stuff. I'm like, Russ, do you want to do the uh, little ipso facto clean us? Not really. Would you mind? Mm, fine. And then I'll press them and clean them up. All right. It takes it takes a good minute to you know go through each and every one of them, but. You find yourself super clean. Cool. Uh, all that uh, bee business really has me hankering for some mead. Yeah, I could eat. Okay. So, uh, as you look around, uh, there are no tables open. The bar has a few spots, but that's about it. Uh. <laughs> Fuck the table. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> I cast Minor Illusion to let this table of four have just 10,000 baby spiders pop out of their pies. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no! I'm just kidding. You said it. All right. Mark off the spell. It's a cantrip. Minor Illusion, okay. Yeah. Okay. Major Illusion, their spiders are pies. <laughs> Surprisingly, all four of them... Uh, all four of uh, that, they're more scraggly human beings, uh, like more gruff, but they do have like the, the flare collar shirts. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the anomaly of seeing both the way that their facial hair and their actual hair are kept, and then the clothes that are super clean, as you start to see, there's a <laughs> bunch of tiny spiders start coming out. They all look down at it. They pass their hand through it, <laughs> and then they go back to drinking. I rolled a 17, an 18, and an 18. Well, apparently, oh, they're not a rectifier. Well, I tried. 17, 18, 19, 18. That's what I rolled on those. Well, I don't know what the purpose of that was. I was trying to free up a table. I walk over to the bar. Okay. <laughs> so, as you walk up to the bar, you, you see the, the same half link. Yep. That's behind there. So, uh... How you guys doing today? Eating goat eating grocer, my friend. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, how may I help you? Uh, I would like a mead and uh, whatever my friends would like. I would like your fizziest, puppiest, bubbliest. Oh yeah, drink. I want that apple. Oh, can you like give me a cup of mead and a cup of the apple stuff? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, anybody else have any weird questions? I said, like, what? I want two cups. A tall drink for me. Tall drink. What's the strongest beverage you have? The strongest? How expensive are you looking for? Didn't the king say our yeah, expenses actually. are paid for? Yep. I wasn't told about this. You can go, what? He, yeah, you were. I, you didn't charge us last time we got stuff from you. Oh, I didn't? No. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to add that to your tab. There we go. All right. <laughs> no, the, the, the king definitely did say that. It turns in eight. Uh, Backing somebody over, and you see this uh, this shorter halfling uh, come out. Quarter and it's link? like, huh? A quarter, quarter link? link? Yeah, quarter link. <laughs> he comes out. Link. He leans over. He whispers over. He the kid goes uh, running off. Uh, then a good like minute later, you see him come back. He whispers something in his ear, and he goes, "So, looks like it is on the house." Well, you're hiding this. You want a big drink? The strongest drink. The strongest drink. Yes. Okay. Who's ready for him to pass out and not be able to What do you want, Kitty? <laughs> That's what happened last time. <laughs> Remember that? I can't handle drugs. I'll have what he's having. Okay. 
I told you, I want your fizziest, bubbliest. Okay. You're gonna have the apple stuff that we have before. Does it only come in apple? Alright, here we go. Yeah. He it's a specialty. Um, pulls up the, uh, the drink, the same one you saw from before. He hands it over to you. Uh, for you, he brings over a mug and the same drink. Uh, places it in front of you. You two. You. He brings Does it out. third cup, too, as he hands it to me? Yeah, you just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, you two. He pulls out these two tiny, tiny shot glasses. They look like shot glasses for a halfling. Like thimbles. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot glass and cut it in half. It is it is one ounce all together. Nice. And he takes out it's this uh, it looks like a silver bottle. And it's got this small topper on, on her. He pops it and he pours it in. And it's literally it look it is it is such a minute like shot. Yeah, right, right. It is such a minute shot like in there. Dropper. It's like yeah. a quarter. It's he fills this cup a quarter of what it is. Puts on goggles. A <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> as he as he leans it over to you, he pulls uh, he pushes it towards you guys. He box. takes uh, he takes this and it, it looks like a large tube, like large metal tube. And as he puts it in, he clicks it, and the thing there is a huge fireball that comes off from the top. And you can see from there, it is a scorching flame that's on there. He goes, better take a shot. It's going to be gone. I take the, the cup, blow out the flame, and no, mm -hmm. no blowing no, out the flame. No, you don't. No, you don't. You make a save. Oh, okay. <laughs> make a constitution save. Make a constitution save. Uh, I knew, I knew can I use uh, one of my advantage rolls? You can. All right. Cool. Nine constitution save. That is a 12. Okay, 12. <clears throat> As you take this shot, you take... Oh, shit. Ring out! You take two points of fire damage as you slam this down. And you're not quite used to it. So as you come down, it, it kind of like... The flame hits your uh, your upper lip and it kind of gives you a little singe as it's going down. It's like the top of your the top so now of your mouth. I'm missing this part of my <laughs> of my fur. Reverse Hitler tag. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's the top of your mouth too goes down, and then as it hits your mouth, the flames actually just dissipate as soon as it hits your uh, your uh, your saliva in your mouth, like your tongue and everything. It dissipates, and as uh, as you're drinking it, you start to feel real woozy. You are drunk at this point from this one show. Damn. You have half your whiskers, you lose yeah. all balance. 20, not natural. <laughs> not natural 20. Okay. Uh, as you slam down this shot, uh, you seeing him make the mistake, you uh, you move the drink further in and you just down it completely. <clears throat> uh, as soon as it hits your, uh, your mouth and your tongue, the flames just dissipate. And as you swallow it down, uh, you've had a large amount of uh, a copious amount of alcohol go through your body and you are feeling it but you are not drunk Neat. constitution save uh, my I, I, I <laughs> order that that doesn't <laughs> seem pleasant at all not in the least hey, well, you should order one <laughs> yeah. no I'm good and I'll I, buy one for you I'm, I, no, all our drinks are free we literally just went over this <laughs> I don't care I'll buy one I, for I, you barkeep <laughs> I'm gonna throw a hard. Get one to Hemo. Okay. I, I, I don't want it. He pulls it out, <laughs> puts it out, puts the little drink, and then lights it on fire. And I watch it evaporate. Okay. <laughs> Why like, are you wasting good drink? You just set your tits on fire. <laughs> I into that. It was the best shot I've ever taken. Yeah. It yeah. looks dangerous. Yeah. Rest did you should have one. Negative. Come on, did it already go Stop out? Stop touching me, oh, yeah, no uh, to you, It's like halfway pitch. right now. I take it. All right. Roll a Constitution save. Bad See, somebody hits. will take it with me. Give it some fruit. Give a dog a bone, am I right? Roll constitution. <laughs> you didn't roll an advantage, right? No. You did not? Uh, no. But he did. Uh, <laughs> ten. Ten. I passed the fuck out. As, uh... Good night. As it starts... <laughs> as it... As the, um... The liquid starts to go lower, it starts to get stronger for some reason. The flame... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the flame, as it's getting higher and you try to take it, you take six points of fire damage as you go to you go to drink it it engulfs the front of your face our domesticated friends seem to be in trouble <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, as you're trying to uh, swallow the alcohol uh it's swooshing around your mouth and it, just because the fire hits your face you're trying to like pat it out but you're still keeping the alcohol in your mouth and it's and it's just 
and uh, it's swishing around and as it's mixing you can feel it burning your mouth just from the alcohol alone and you swallow it you are drunk right now told you i'm blessed the hemo tell me how many halfling servants do you think it'll take them to carry brutus to his room uh we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> you i got money quattro. on eight you're gonna go eight uh, he's a big boy let's see halflings hold on Creo que van a necesitar más. Gossus is speaking in tongues. I don't speak Tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> Yo digo que van a ser diez. Uh, uh. Hold on, I think I have something. Oh, hey. I speak with animals. Does that work with him? <laughs> Damn it, I brought the wrong book. Uh, I'll go with, I'm going to go with six. I think six is a good number. Okay. Right. You guys want to make a bet on that? What? Rusty, you know what you have? Almost. Penis made a bug. I love it. I feel threatened. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> and I start pouring, like, mixing half of one of my drinks into the other one because I want to, like, try them together. Mm -hmm. It's like Hemo being Hemo. Like, those honey and apples go good. Mm hmm And I take a sip. When you, uh... When it hits your mouth, the mead mix with this, uh, this cider drink. The mead is heavier than the cider drink. So you first get the mead, and then right on top of it, it is the, uh, the cider where the, the bursts of apple flavor start going in your mouth. And it feels light and bubbly after, mm. while the beginning was super heavy. How much do I enjoy it? Oh, you enjoy it a lot if you do. I mean, yeah, how do you feel great. about it? I described it. Yeah, you yeah. tell me if I you like it. So Hemo, <laughs> Hemo likes it. Uh, uh, to the bartender, he's like, hey, you should try this. Um, I don't drink on the job. Um, you should give one to that guy and see if he likes it. All right. You just point at like a random like Random bar, ass so. dude. I point to the biggest manliest looking dude at the bar. At the bar? Okay. Yeah. Me. It Not is you. Look right now at the bar, much. it is a skinny half elf. Aren't Give it to that boy. Because <laughs> oh, no. right at the bar right now, as you look down, um, the bar isn't super long. Okay. Uh, you do see there is a good seven seats next to you. And the two next to you are open. But past that, uh, you see uh, a halfling, a gnome, uh, a small, it, it's like a five foot uh, human, mm -hmm. uh, very elegant hair, uh, elegant looking dress with his hair slicked all the way back, okay. uh, nice black, but past him is a lot taller, half elf, uh, beautiful looking uh, when you see it, almost porcelain skin. I give it to the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I give it to the gnome. <laughs> okay. I give it to the gnome. El chiquito se lo va a beber. No, I give it to the half elf. All right, you give it to the half elf. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> the uh, bartender mixes the drink, uh, brings it over, and puts it in uh, puts it in front of him, and points over to you as the uh, as you kind of see the half elf questioning why this is placed in front of him. I was like, okay. can he hear me? He's a bit away, right? Yeah. He's I was like, it's, here. A, it's a new drink. Give it a try. Thanks. Drew slams it right down. And from there, you can kind of see he kind of like, just a little woozy. Oh, he was getting head on. <laughs> and you can see his body moving from left to right. And the half elf comes back and he goes, he was doing good. <laughs> it, it appears that he's doing great now. Yep. He only had one drink today. Oh. Is he an alcoholic or something? Was I not supposed to give him a I don't know. I haven't seen him in like three weeks. Oh. I don't... I don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hit his wife. Like, I'm not sure what happened. You should have been like, oh, hey, by the way, that's Marty. He may or may not have a drinking problem. I don't know he has a drinking problem. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, you you are, Pino. 
<laughs> hey, I only told you I didn't see him for three weeks. Yeah, how, o- how old are you? Me? Yes. I am 80 years old. You don't look a day past 60. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to take a nap. And I lay my head down on the bar. Okay. Uh, could you arrange it, possibly, potentially, uh, to escort my friend here back to his room? Yeah, I don't need to do that. If you see over there, and as he points over, you can see that uh, right where the uh, the desk was. There are six now. Uh, <laughs> six you can see uh, the, um, the halfling that's behind it rings the bell again. The three halflings, uh, newer, uh, new halflings. They're the not the same. Halflings. <laughs> halflings. They're the fresher halflings. They were born today. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're straight out this paper I printed. They're the, they're the night crew. Yeah. Um, they they're come just out. getting shit out. Like. They come, uh, yeah. You can see he points over. They go right over to Brutus, and as they're doing that, they <clears> tip the chair back ever so slightly, That he's uh, the stool that he's sitting on. I wake up because I never said I was sleeping. <laughs> I said, I'm going to take a nap, and I put my head down on the on, yeah. on the. On I never said I fell asleep. The way that you are drunk, I yeah, would say yes. You fall asleep. Maybe I'm drunk. <laughs> so as you fall Should back, be. they catch you, and you don't even feel it. Like it, it feels it's like fe- it feels like I fell on a feathery yeah. bed. It feels like you're falling asleep right now on your bed, uh, and then they just carry you right off to your room. Cool. You guys. I was the closest without going over. What? Closest without going over? How do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? How do you mean? Oh, we should get him another drink. <laughs> Which one do you want to give me? I'm sorry? Which one do you want to give him? Give him uh, your, uh, your, your concoction. Yeah, the same, the same thing that I gave you, uh, made you give to the... Further research uh, is necessary, Barkeep. Well, I'm trying to find you a new drink special. Okay. Pulls up the pulls up this. So this time, do two thirds the apple and one third the meat. Okay. He does it. Passes it right over. Me la bebo si tú te la bebes también. And no tell tell me no de español. Drink with me, Himo. Sure, absolutely. And I take another couple sips from my drink. Okay. What are you doing? I take all of it. It's a cup. It's a mug. Yeah, the whole thing. All right. All right. You don't even need to roll a constitution save. <laughs> guy. As, as you go back and you start just chugging this off, and you're getting to, like, the last third of the drink, and you're tipping it back, you lose your bearing, and you just fall. Out cold, right on, right on the ground, you <laughs> spill the rest of the drink. Do I not land on my feet? I'm a cat. Do I not land on my feet? No, you're, you're out. Cat. It, yeah, it drunk appears tea. to be super effective. <laughs> Rusty has himself a giggle. <laughs> <laughs> so, from here, uh, you're out cold. And you two hear the bell. <laughs> and there's three halflings come around the corner. Three more. And they pick you up with ease and carry you off. Goodbye, Casas. Well, let's look for question marks in this board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got in the bar? So, what are you looking for? What are you looking know. around? What uh, you scan the crowd. What are we looking at here? Do, do I see any mysterious cloaked figures? We're all perception check. Shit. Uh, that would be a 60. All right, as you look around, no cloaked figures. Uh. Do I see anyone that stands out? Like, just stands out for whatever reason? Um, like, looking besides around, the dragon, the, ha- the dragonborn. Yeah, the, looking around, it's the half-orc and the dragonborn are the only two that really stick out. Because they are large, large beings. Um, but everyone, everyone else, it's uh, elves, half-elves, there are humans, uh, gnomes, and halflings. Uh, all just skittering about. You don't see any dwarves, though. I should have picked those fellows as my escorts. What? Well, which ones? The the large ones over there at the table. I think we've done a pretty fine job. I'm I'm taller than them. So oh well, I, I, it's not that you have done bad. I'm just you know. 
boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one mistake. <laughs> no, you're doing terrific, please. We we saved your life. You didn't pick us. We just stumbled across to you. Mm, I don't know. That made me up for debate. Maybe I saved your lives. What? <laughs> Can I get one of those little <laughs> shot things? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, you feel like you play cards? Yes. Care for a game with these gentlemen if they, uh, would have us? I don't have any money. <laughs> I know this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to him. Yeah. Um, I could, I could go for your first hand. <laughs> uh, does it have to be gamble or can't we play it for fun? I have literally no idea. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, you probably don't even know how to play cards. Because I, uh... You're a Neanderthal from the woods, yes. Exactly. I don't... I don't <laughs> I'm not... Uh, the, way, the way the books had it, anyway. Yes. What books? Yeah, the books. Oh, all right. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> no! You go to bed? Uh... I'm not tired he's, yet. He's gonna walk away from Rusty. He's gonna leave it. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna go over to the table by myself. No, what I table? follow him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one with the dudes are gambling. The uh, half orc and the uh, dragonborn. dragonborn. Okay. Uh, as you walk up, uh, as you're walking towards them, they do see you, and they stop, and they're looking you directly down, like they are not, you know, eyeing up anybody else but you as you walk up. Yeah. Oh, hey, gentlemen, uh, would you mind if I joined the game? Uh, half orc looks over at the dragonborn. Dragonborn goes. Seems like. Uh, might be uh, easy money. And half work turns up and goes, I think so too. Nemo. I'm glad we all agree. Nemo. 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 Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Catch. All right, live. I don't know. They sound like the men from the other town. So as uh, <laughs> as you're listening to them, they both sound very similar to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Do they? You were getting you were getting the whole conversation in stereo. Okay. <laughs> so um, as um, oh, I didn't load up my. Uh, I got one gruff voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can do it, but I just felt like giving them the same I'm voice. <laughs> So, um, shit, I don't have, I don't have that loaded up, the card game. Okay, so, uh, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna make this up on the Goldfish. fly. Goldfish. Old me. So, as they, Who are you calling old? as they deal out, uh, they deal out the cards. Uh, three so, of them. It's so like this three super tall dudes sitting at one table. <laughs> <laughs> yep. you like, you are, you're much taller than them, but you're skinnier. Yeah. And you see the, at this, uh, the half work and also the Dragonborn. They are beefy. Yeah, they're big, burly boys. Uh, very tight clothes. They they look like they would say bro a lot. Yeah, they got tribal like, tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. Tribal tattoos, but the gap is missing right yeah, here. Yeah, uh -huh. So, um, so uh, what I need you to do is they hand out three cards. Yeah. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to roll three D6s. Okay. Right? Yep. And add them all together. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> from here, you see the half orc to your left. Mm -hmm. He's looking at his cards. And he kind of like... Mm. He My slides, poker face. He slides two gold pieces into the center. Uh, looking over to the dragonborn, he's looking down at his cards. And he's like... And he pushes in two gold pieces to the center. <clears throat> they both look at you. Um, All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, this game you're gonna add the number up. Yeah. And if you think the number is high enough, because uh, there's gonna be two cards following. Okay. And that's gonna add into each one. If you feel like you have high enough, you can continue the bet in, or you can fold. I can't raise them. You can raise if you want to. I put Sorry, in, uh, I meant to say that too. I put in three gold pieces. Three gold. <clears throat> they both put 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 in one gold piece a piece, and they deal out another set of cards. Okay. Roll another d six. Uh, 
One more? Yep, roll another d6. Does he have to remember that total? Yeah, yes. I got it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as you, uh, as they deal out the remaining cards, the uh, half-orc looks at his cards and he goes, hmm. Shakes his head and he puts four gold pieces into the center. Oh, no. <clears throat> the dragonborn looking at his cards, he's taking a little bit longer than normal as he's looking them over. Gives it a little shoulder nod and puts the uh, same four gold pieces in the center. Uh, I'm like, hmm? You guys are talking about easy money, right? Yep. I'm going five. I raise them another up one up again. Right. They match you. So they deal out another set of cards. Another uh, single card to each mm -hmm. one. So you roll another one. Okay. Yep. And what you're going to do is you're going to add them all together. Yep. Uh, that would be... I'll just put it on this one. Uh, okay. So from here, uh, they're both looking at the cards. The half-orc uh, looks at his cards, puts them down, and slides ten gold pieces to the center. Looking over to the Dragonborn, the Dragonborn uh, shakes his head, uh, says, you know, he's like, ah, I fold, I fold, I'm done. And he puts his cards down, hands it over. Uh, the half-orc looks over and he goes, so what do you want to do, big man? Right, what would you like to do, big man? Ten gold in there. He slammed his cards down face down? Face down and it's close to him. And he put ten gold in, while the other one, he put his cards down and he pushed it over to the pile. Sure. Go in. Go in? Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> that is uh, three gold, five gold, and ten gold. Yep. So we're at 18 gold. Yep. All right. Uh, so as he, uh, as he pulls up his cards, uh, he got a 22 as a total. Motherfucker! <laughs> I got a 21. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Like, so, seriously? Yeah. Seriously, it's six and four, six and four, and a two. <laughs> I lose, uh... 18 gold. When he, like, rakes the gold in, I want to, like, make puffs of fireworks. Like, <laughs> Yeah. As, he, as he's laughing, he's like, <laughs> And he just pulls in all the gold over. And he's looking at the dragon, but he goes, Yup, easy money. That was a close game. <laughs> You gonna continue? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll play one more game. I'm like, here, Rusty, you give it a shot. Mm, okay. You're gonna give it a shot? Sure. Okay. Same thing. You're gonna roll three, three cards. I mean, uh, th roll three, uh, <laughs> three, three d sixes. Okay. So, as the three cards go out, uh, the half orc. I'm guessing you sit. Are you getting up and letting them? I get up and pull a chair. Let Okay. So you sit in a spot. Uh, you get the three cards. You're looking at it. Uh, you look over at the half orc. He's looking at his cards and he's just still laughing at you, from uh, you know, from you're like, oh, I was close, you know. So uh, he pushes in uh, two gold into the center. Uh, the dragonborn that's um, over to your right. He looks at his he looks at his cards the same thing, and uh, he looks over at the half orc and he just gives a little like s little smirk, and he puts in the two gold, also. They're looking over to you. I'm holding my cards. Read them. Half orc looks at the dragonborn. He's like, hey, "What the hell is going on here?" And Dragon Ward looks back and he goes, I have no clue. This is just... <laughs> <laughs> they both look at you, Hemo. And they're like... Alright. <laughs> I just smiled I'm like... <laughs> I nudge rough the back of Rusty's chair. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Where am I? Are you gonna play this game? 
I don't play games, sir. (laughs) (laughs) Roll a perception check. Uh, 16. All right. Uh, As you're looking over, you can see on the right side of the dragon board, you can see a a, a little glint of metal. (laughs) Who shot first? the light. Rusty shoots first. I I lean over with the... To to him. That's what? I don't know. What do you? What do you? Uh, <laughs> hold up my finger, guy. <laughs> I'm like, what are you? Uh, what are you looking to do there, cowboy? <laughs> I take out my spell book and slam it on the table. <laughs> I just fly, rip it open to a page, and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sap the other, the other hand, and I'm like, Jafar. Just like I'm like, what are you? What are you doing? <laughs> As you slam the book down. They both laugh at you. <laughs> and that half part goes, <laughs> he brought a book. He brought a book. So then as... This is my favorite book. <laughs> as seeing this whole thing, you see uh, there is a group of halflings come in. And they uh, go right in between both of you. And my snake hisses. He's like... <laughs> 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 and... The, uh, there's two halflings that look both at you guys and they're like, can uh, you guys please scoot away from these two? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a game. Why don't they scoot away from us? <laughs> well, they were playing cards in a corner just fine. You two came up and we seem to be having a little issue. That is untrue. We were playing, I was playing, I played a whole round of cards with them. Uh, my friend here decided that he also wanted to play cards. May or may not have fallen asleep a little bit. So that means Gentlemen that he unsheathed the sword, or unsheathed something. Started unsheathing something, and uh, as as you say that, he looks over and the dragonborn's like, "I didn't do anything." We were hired by the king. Who would? Just the throw fuck is this guy? I do agree, uh, Mr. Halfling, sir. As the king's guest, they may not be too fond of this uh, so, behavior. Uh, as you say that. The dragon was like, I didn't do anything. Like, I had nothing to do with anything. And, and I, I just put my hand over my face a little bit, and I drew a craft of mushroom brand on his fucking forehead. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we, can, we can all see it. <laughs> he rolled a one. Perfect. <laughs> 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 you gave me a jerk. We don't need you or this town. <laughs> Do any so of the halflings the, say anything? Uh, the two halflings back? start, like, ushering you guys, you two back. All right, so we walk away. As we're, like, walking away and getting pushed, I'd be like, did I win? You. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Chop. Go. No, I got, yeah. Go. Upstairs. Can I hear Curly? Go. Up there. Yeah, some parts of his first curly, that parts are not. Uh, he is a he is a Labradoodle Beagle mix. That's say that's that a mouthful. That's like a delicious breakfast. I know. Yeah, for <laughs> real. I'm bored right now. Like, I, this is ridiculous. I would love a Labradoodle Beagle mix. Can I, I wanted that a Beagle. Yeah, right. I wanted a Beagle. My wife wanted a Labradoodle. We found a mix right in between. <laughs> that's a weird hot fudge. Yeah. Yeah. Really happened. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got it. Yeah. Um. All right. So you guys are uh, you guys are ushered back. Um, kind of like almost hurried back, um, and uh, you're—they move you to the other side of the bar at this moment. So are they not talking to us as they're directing us over this? Oh way? no, they're—they're they're like, all right, we go. You know, you guys said you, you guys said that. All right, we'll go because you—you said yeah. it. So. All right, Rusty. How many mushrooms do you think I could pile on him uh, <laughs> before we go to bed? Um, he was like, fuck this guy. Like, it was totally unnecessary. Like, Rusty's an old-ass dude. He's going to glint, a, like, a weapon at us because we're playing a game. He just won money off of us. Like, it's... I mean, you don't know if it's a weapon or not. Oh, you think he was whipping out? It's a prosthetic leg. Trying to get his fucking phone number? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's my um, quill! <laughs> like, how, how many mushrooms? Um, how long do you want to be awake? I can do this... As a free action, as a, as a bonus action, as a, as, a, as a standard action. Yeah, I can just do it. Well, we, six seconds. We currently, if we're going to use the same rules, <laughs> yeah, as we set up for, uh, for um, Rusty's hat. I turn into a giant frog and I swallow him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As we as we set up the previous rules, it's one time per long rest that you can 
You can bring a mushroom out of nothing. All right. No, I'm not bringing it out of nothing. I'm bringing it off the spores of the other mushroom on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into a mushroom rhino. <laughs> Yeah, I can, make, I, 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 I can make a flower, but what, was that a rule, or was that was just something that I thought I just did it for flavor? I thought it wasn't a rule. I just decided I could do it. Well, that. we did it for flavor, but I'm not going to allow it to, like, be free ramped use. I want him to look like one of those things from, like, the last <laughs> place. Like, I just yeah, that's how you say it. Like, oh, you just don't want to abuse the power, then. Yes. <laughs> okay, how many flowers can I put on? <laughs> you like, you like a mushroom let's, just flower. Leave, let's just leave him alone. He was rude. He was rude. So are you. <laughs> that was rude tonight. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm not rude. I'm just, I'm um, sure. So I just, for brevity's sake, I, I want to go to bed. <laughs> okay. So you guys return to your rooms. Do you want to go to bed? You go, you go back to the table. You're like, let's do this again, fuckers. <laughs> 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 takes off his shirt. There's just a leather jacket underneath. And he's no. like, all right, I'm face some God. He, he takes, <laughs> buys her down. <laughs> <laughs> he takes off his shirt. For some reason, he's all muscular. Yeah, he's super he's ripped. Like, giant nipple rings. All right, wands. Master Roshi. <laughs> no, no, he's like, he's like, what's his name from Bleach? Uh, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, um, the, uh, Yamamoto. The leader, the leader yeah. of the, uh, the third. Yeah, the third Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Night Yamamoto? Captain Yamamoto. From Jakar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so he liked that that Roar Zabi Mara. Yeah. Okay, right. yeah, I'm um, a big huge. I'm a huge Bleach fan. There you go. Um, <laughs> do I want to go to bed? No, I wanted to like have a conversation with Emo. As we're walking to bed, you can have a conversation. You with can me. have a conversation while you're walking. It's more like bar talk. All right, so I I attempt to be like, oh, I'm going to go to bed. No wait. Four. Do you think that? The people that killed y'all folks are also after Nubi. Uh, the people that killed, as far as I, I'm like, all right, we'll, we'll sit down. We'd sit. Uh, I still, I guess, I have my mug from the table before. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, the people that had killed the people were more so people than monsters. Like, we dealt with uh, a drow, uh, we dealt with a mysterious closed figure. And like a bunch of like zombies and stuff. We didn't we didn't deal with anything as like that uh thing that we ran into in the woods. Well, the drow aren't monsters per se. But the people, uh, I mean, that's uh, is that racist? <laughs> is that <laughs> is he no racist? racist? I mean, he just is, said they're not monsters, so that's. Yeah. I mean, he's <laughs> is rusty Clint Eastwood. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn. Yeah, exactly. Um. Uh, but no, that had, there was a vendetta, the, I explained him the whole thing about the, uh, the, the contract that was breached years ago, the war, all that stuff. I explained all that to you. And I'm like, so yeah, I really don't think that there would have, they had anything to do with that whatsoever. Fair enough, then why are you here? You, 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 you asked this. <laughs> but why'd you say yes? Uh, I had nothing better to do <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> what do you want out of all this? Uh, I want to be able to go home eventually. <laughs> you like tell me that whole story too. Uh, go ahead, tell it for the fans. Actually, if you're gonna tell the story, you might as well tell the story. Oh, but then I gotta look it up all the way so I can like tell it appropriately. I'll um, help you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll bathe you. <laughs> I'll help you. How much time we got? We got 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah we got we got 15 right. minutes. We can go through the Email story. Back story. <laughs> so fuck. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not doing it right now. I'm not, like, I don't have it like at all like out in front of me I to know. read. It's been a bit. Go ahead. Okay. Hemo um, says what Hemo explains to you is and I'm gonna par um, paraphrase this all okay. for you. Uh so he as he was traveling uh, one day um, through the through the woods, he came across a hooded figure. So did figure supplied him some seats. In and true hemo fashion. Told him that these would help his clan. Clan? Uh, my clan? village, essentially. Village? Yeah. yeah. Or tribe, uh, yes. This would help them uh, further, um, further expand themselves and help the village with crops. Uh, Yields. With, uh, plentiful crops. We were to full crops. We were, yeah, we were going through a bit of a, a, a famine, a bit. Like we, we were still fed, but like like chemo is like a bit. It was a bit of a dunce. So, mm -hmm. and you don't say. <laughs> with that, uh, let's see. Oh, here's the backstory. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Verbatim it. Yeah. 
That's not what I want. Okay. <laughs> uh, with this, sorry, Chad. Uh, he planted. <laughs> he uh, he planted the seeds right in the center of the town, and with using druid craft, he uh, thinking that he was going to help the town, it ended up hurting the town. And here, it grew. Uh, what were they? Uh, it grew a series of assassin vines, and with him druid crafting everything, uh, with everybody around the uh, the uh, this area because it was the common ground in the middle of the village, uh, the assassin vines started lashing out and hurting everybody, and some people were killed in the process. Oh. Because of this, he was. Yeah. I can't pick it up from here. Yeah. Uh, because of this, I was excommunicated from my village. It's so I'm trying to find that man and find a way back home. Because I was just looking to help originally, and uh, kind of fucked everything up. It sounds like you were duped. I was in, indubitably duped. Do you know, like, um, the, where he is, where he may be? Do you I know have, where to find him? I have no idea. No. Oh. Would you recognize him if we saw him? Definitively. Oh, fair enough. Then hopefully, potentially, we, hopefully we run across him in our travels. And that would that would be incredible. I miss my like my my town a lot. Do you think they would take you back if you brought him to justice? Um, probably not. But I mean, it's worth a shot. Because that's far bulk. We're like very reclusive folk. Like we don't. How many of me have you seen? You. How Just old you. are you? <laughs> exactly. <No. laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's not kind to ask. So it's like my real name isn't even Hemo. It's just we take Elvish names when we have to talk to people that aren't furballs. So what's your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not see that coming. That's good. I see now why you go by Hemo. There's no possible way that I can possibly pronounce that. <laughs> Oh my god. I kind of want to see my face when you did that. Uh, you could uh, say it in your tongue. <laughs> if, if, if you guys in chat can't tell, he's fucking crying. That's so funny. That was funny. <laughs> but I, I see why you are a hero. I, yeah. can't even, I don't even know where to begin to pronounce that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's well, Elvish. <laughs> yeah. oh, I quit. Right. So, thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs> That was hilarious. <laughs> that's, good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> He's sweating. Yeah, funny. And like, the tears come out of all the body. So, <laughs> well, Hemo, if we do come across him, I will help you bring him to justice. I, I would appreciate that greatly. Yes, redemption is. Uh, I just want to find out why. Like, why do that? Did you pay him? No, actually, oh. I didn't. He's probably just an asshole. No. Yeah. They, they, no. No, yeah, he handed to the seat. He propositioned me. Oh. But, um, this is a bad man. They're all over. Uh, they play cards and bars. Yeah, jerks. <laughs> Let's well, put a, we'll put a mushroom on all the heads. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. All right, thank you for sharing. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody at the bar, eh, eh, within the bar just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I lift off the ground. <laughs> Head starts, like, turning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the sconces dim. Yeah. You know, it's so dark. So, natural. I get mushroom wings. <laughs> Giant moth wings. Yeah. The shield so, on her back becomes alive. Yeah. You were carried off to bed. You were carried off to bed. Yes. Are you walking with him? Yeah. Okay. As uh, you guys walk up fourth floor, uh, you guys uh, go up to your rooms, and you um, walk in your room. You see it's it's a small room, but uh, the everything looks elegant. Uh, it looks similar to the rest of the place that you've been. Uh, very soft sheets. Um, the the bed is uh, extremely fluffy at this. Do you know what your room number is? What's my room number? <laughs> Were you asking? We all got told our room numbers before. I forgot. Did you write it down? Yeah, but I want to forget it because it's 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta forget it. I go to 406, which is where Hemo's room is. Mm -hmm. I forget. I think it was uh, 406, 408 for the dog. Uh, I, I, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> 408 for the dog, yeah. Yeah, I think of 408 for the dog and uh, 4, uh, 10 for the cat. So nope. I think you're I start, at the very far end. I start trying doorknobs. You are wrong, sir. Okay. Huh? So you are wrong. As you, I, I know I'm wrong for oh, everyone. Yeah. So I know where you know. So uh, he's doing a thing. Let him go. <laughs> are you? Uh, so what room are you going to? What one is he going? Four six. Four six. And you're like, yeah. You're yeah I picked the first room. Yeah. So you, what? You like pointing to like I think that's yours. He went to. He's at four six. He pointed at four oh eight. Said that that's where Brutus was. He pointed to um, uh, four oh nine. He said that's where Cosmos is. So did you point to mine and be like, I think that's yours? Yeah. 407. The one that he points out ago. 407. As you as you try your key, doesn't doesn't work. My key? Well I cast knock. <laughs> okay. Who's okay. <laughs> okay. As the uh door Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> as the door unlocks itself and you uh you are you looking in? Yeah. You can see there is a fully naked Brutus in all of his glory. Ass up. He doesn't sleep under the covers? Nope. <laughs> He's on an inversion board. Yeah. He's just upside down naked. Nope. Ass, ass up, like not up, like mm, up, just. No, in dog, the... <laughs> please, do tell. Uh, uh, I, I walk in and just you like, see, share with us. You see, like, like, open the doors. Oh, that's picture like, like a longer bow just asleep. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, oh, jeez. Oh, uh, Brutus. Do I hear him? He's out cold. Brutus, 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 Brutus. No. <laughs> you're, you're, you're accusing him of sleeping in your bed. <laughs> Brutus! <laughs> like, I cast major he's illusion. <laughs> he's out. I can't get him up? Fuck. He's out. All right, how many unseen servers are we gonna need to carry his ass out of this bitch? Come back to mine. They're like, the emo. Now, he's sleeping in my bed. Now thinking about it, he, the, uh, the halflings did take, did say that they were gonna take him up to his room earlier. I don't think Rusty remembers that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure he won't tell me this was my room. Maybe they mix it up. Maybe I will check another. Check the drawers and for stuff. So yeah, like, there you go. Yeah, because I yeah I did tell him to take right. some shit. Right. So you check the drawers. Yeah, I'll start rummaging through his shit. Let's see what he's got. Just, it's all full of bones. He's just passed, full of bones. Yeah, I know. He's <laughs> passed the fuck out. Let's see what he's got. It's all it's all of Brutus' stuff. Oh fuck. This can't be my room, and I didn't want to see that at all. I'm gonna leave. Okay. So you leave. You go to the next room. Yeah. It's your room. The key works. Oh okay. I hey, we found it. Did you leave the door open, no, by the way? I'm gonna. Mm, <laughs> did I? <laughs> I yeah, wide. Open. Wide open. <laughs> like I knocked and like unlocked it and then opened it and was just like rummaging through your shit and then I'm like, I didn't fuck this and then I left and just never. It's just. Yep. Door wide open. Cool. So, so I guess Hemo thought it was all even numbers on one side and all odds on the other. Nope. It went around. <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> and I find my room and I'm like, good. Is there any like fresh water I can wash my eyes? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> there any acid just laying on my nightstand? <laughs> so, as you guys all pass out to sleep, we will break for the day. Alright. And. You all reached level five. Hey. All right. hey. yeah. Can I just say, I am so happy to now reach level five. I feel accomplished. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna do this, we can do this on stream. Uh, I'm going to uh, level you guys up real quick. Cool, do it. Uh, I love it. I'm going to have you guys roll your dice or your hit points. Um, uh, we'll start with Brutus. Hey. Uh, are you are you leveling up as a barbarian? Yes. Okay. Please roll. <laughs> please roll a D twelve. God, I'll finally have a like, hopefully Careful finally that. have above thirty. <laughs> Those are functional Fuck. hooks. <laughs> Those are functional hooks. <laughs> that, was a, that was a pretty good throw. Yes, it was. Why are there functional hooks? Who's throwing them? I don't know. And oh, they are fish hooks. Why? 
Paper clip. It, it was a paper clip. It was a paper clip. Uh, real quick, it's whatever I roll plus my constitution modifier okay, plus. No, just tell me what you roll. Uh, no, four. Four. What? Stop. Stop making fucking okay. tabaxes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just so you know, much, real quick, <laughs> you are you have sixty hit points. But I will have your new sheet printed out for you and ready. Cool. All right. Did you next you on the list, Casos. Yo. Are you uh, leveling up? Are you going rogue or ranger? I am going. Uh, uh, previously, what we talked rogue. about, you were going rogue. Okay. Sneak dice. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, you said you were going to go with assassin, correct? Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, it was assassin. Okay. I need you to roll a d8 for your hit points. All right. Don't fail me now. I've never taken an average. Low on it. Neither have I had some fly. I have 25 fucking hit points. What's your roll? Can I roll? Can I use my reroll? What is it? It's a two. It's a two. Two. You have 42 hit points. Yay. All right. Uh, next up would be Rusty. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you keep me for last? The one to low stage me. Wizard? Check what? Out the Are you. Upgrading as wizard. Are oh. you a wizard? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Roll a d6. Six. Six. Nice. You actually rolled really high for your hit points. I am a wizard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a you, have, <laughs> you have 39 hit points. Jeez. Fuck me. Dude, I like that. I'm healthy, but old. And finally. Hey. fish hooks. Hemo. Druid. Six. I'll fucking take it. Six. It is above average. <laughs> you have he gets that a lot. It's medium. Uh, <laughs> just so you know, you have 29 hit points. Uh, How? I was at 25 before. <laughs> Don't you fucking do that to me. <laughs> you have 32 hit points. Yes. You have oh, a negative modifier, four, right? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then it's plus the constitution modifier, which is nine. Did you forget about the tough feet? No. No? Nine. Where do you? You said it's plus. Oh damn it! Oh on. Well, shit! Your count is three. Yeah, I forgot. Give him a second. Hold on. There it is. 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 To a three. Yeah. yeah. So we I'm have to redo all of your sheets. And fucking everything. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know so, what five level three spells I, I can't think. wait. Right. That's a joke. There's only two. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> five I, level three spells. I, do, yeah. You know, like, I'm proficient in religion. I well, was not proficient. So, yeah, I do. Your, uh, your double proficiency you get. The Me double or? proficiency this, that you get. Uh-huh. Uh, they go up by two points. Okay. Not just one. All right. Because you're doubling your proficiency. So I think it's your stealth. Stealth, sleight of hand. Uh, yes, stealth, sleight of hand, and I think Survival. I got nature was for, uh, uh, nature was for my ranger. No, it was your stealth. And survival, right? It was your stealth. Uh, and slight, wasn't it? Deception. That's right, stealth and deception. It was your stealth and deception. You, you have nature proficiency, but, not but it's not double. So you, your deception would be a plus eight, and your stealth would be a ten. So, while your sleight of hand and acrobatics would be a seven anyway, so. So ten for stealth. Yeah, which I'm surprised you're not the one lying all the time. Yeah, right. Who yeah, is? Right? <laughs> Who is? <laughs> He's like the most honest. <laughs> you're the most Ollie. honest. That's honorable not true at all. <laughs> Came out definitively, and then. Listen, you just you just <laughs> tried to start a fight. I didn't try to start a fight. I do glint at something <laughs> at my friend. <laughs> like I tried to start with what would be after he yeah, like. Not he lying. Yeah, yeah. He won a game. I was cool with it. Old dude fucking fell asleep. I'm like, he's old, and the guy's like, I'm not talking about just lying. <laughs> you just okay. The dude got shisty. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let him stab my sleeping friend. I will defend him. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. How's it going? I, okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, corralled him. He wants to. He wants to wait, come to wait. Him. Earlier, you said that Rusty would be Clint Eastwood. You just turned into Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah you yeah, did. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck all Dragonborn now, actually. Now he knows racist. <laughs> 
I still have it out for the halflings. <laughs> <laughs> There's far so, too many. Meow. So, everyone, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're very sorry about the problems we had earlier, but it looks like we fixed that now. So, uh, we will be back next week, normal time. Yes. Uh, we will not have any uh, technical issues if we can uh, have yeah help it. Knock on wood. So, if you haven't already, please follow us if you're if you're watching us. Uh, if you're watching the video through uh, through our saved videos through Twitch, you can follow us too. Uh, if you if you want to subscribe, you can either subscribe directly to us or link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can Google search uh, how to link Amazon Prime to your Twitch, and it's a three step process. It's very simple. Uh, you can give a free subscription. Hopefully, it's to this channel. Um, that it doesn't cost anything to you. But it will give a five dollar subscription to us, which is important because that's a free two dollars and fifty cents for the channel, um, and it is a monthly thing. So if you want to do it every month for us, that will supply us with uh, some uh, good money that we can put towards the channel for extra things like the backdrops. Yes, and the lighting. Everything that you saw here was uh, all the donations, all the bits, all of the subscriptions. This is everything that you guys have completed for us. We have brand new lights, which you can see all of us this time, instead of us being in the dark. The backgrounds, you can see our hair. You can see the black shirts by, if you if you look over I, at I Anthony. Here. The chesticles. That's, that's very scary. Um, and if you're watching this through YouTube, subscribe to us, hit the little bell for notification because we do put these up every Wednesday, usually around 8 p.m., sometimes a little bit earlier. If on top of that, you want to give us a thumbs up, that's great. If you want to give us a thumbs down, either one, just leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about our videos because, I mean, we really want to know if we can improve anything. I mean, this is a new setup, so kind of hope that we look more professional than we were before because, I mean, it looks like night and day to us when we look at these videos. Yeah, your guys' donations and subs went a long way for yes, us to redo did. the entire thing. It went all this way, actually. Like, yeah. like you, guys can, you guys can't even see like all the stuff that we did. But we, we're putting it to good use, so keep yep. it coming. Actually, if you, uh, if you look on our Instagram, you can see little photos from Saturday night that uh, Sadi took of me and Kevin setting up everything with him. So it was really nice. We rearranged everything, found some dice that we lost for a while. Oh, yeah. And, um, and then lost we D20s. did a lot of tests. We thought we were, we were at 100%. But we were at 90. New show idea. <laughs> the Lost D20. The Lost D20. There you go. <laughs> it's <my> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, we will have new emotes hopefully in the next like week or two. We're still waiting uh, to create the uh, the three that we have. We had some issues last week that we couldn't uh, we couldn't create any of them. So we are planning on doing it tomorrow. So, having those done, we're going to submit them. Usually, it takes about a week or two for those new emotes. So, any subscriber, you're going to have three new emotes to use, hopefully, because the emotes are available for subscribers. Yeah. So, if you have Prime, you get them for free, because if you link the Prime to the Twitch, that's a free subscription, you get the emotes for free, and you can spam the chat full of those. Right now, we currently have Anthony's face. Yeah, just a hemote. A hemote. <laughs> just like this. And then spam. A hemote. Right there, you can see in the chat. So, in ending this, thank you so much for helping us do this. Uh, I am very happy to use this space uh, for you this studio. You kissed your character's head. Yes, oh. you did. You kissed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Thank you very much. This was this would not be here. We wouldn't. We, we actually wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys uh, watching us and helping us. We'd still be using the black backdrops that we all bought ourselves just to get us up off the ground. So and none of that art, none of that stuff. That's also yeah. happened. Like this here, this here is because of you guys. <laughs> this here is because you guys. Over there is because of you guys. Like all this is because of you guys. He has sleeves now because of you. <laughs> Look at that. They're full sleeves. Please, donate more so we can put a sweater on them. <laughs> no! Right there, right here, right there. The, the this thingies. ear? Yeah, no, <laughs> uh, the, the, the scrolling. Oh, oh. Rusty! Sat these character these down here? The character art? Yeah, those are all, I mean, it's the, it's the character art that we purchased. And then I went and uh, threw those in there just so that we had them for everybody. So that you guys can see the characters and how they progress. Now I have to redo all those because I created them like a week ago and now I have to redo them all. But lucky me, 
it's going to be easy to do because yes, I set yes, it up it that way. So um, with this, uh, I will say thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Muchas gracias desde a Cosos. A wonderful morning or, yeah. and also a wonderful afternoon. Because wonderful if, you are, life. if you are watching us live from across the pond, if you are watching us on YouTube, we don't know when you're uh, watching us. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful everything. Please come back for this uh, craziness that we do every Monday night. I think one of our Monday furthest viewers yeah, is uh, from Colombia. From Colombia? Yeah. Oh. One of our furthest viewers. Nice. It's good Look, stuff. We get the cookie Yeah, yeah. We got the, okay, yeah. So. Drug references. All the way. <laughs> for the win. So, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I uh, love you guys. And I hope to see you next week. Yes. Adios. Yo llego un gato en mis pantalones. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. We're... And we're off air. <laughs>